get on live on YouTube as well. Okay, so um, I really think that top lane matchup for Ebi is really important um, in terms Agreed. of him having like a really good frontline matchup. Um, Forrest has a couple of champions that he does particularly well on. You know, you've got Lee Sin, Sejuani. I think Poppy is pretty good for him. He's actually a Talia jungle player as well. And we did see that once during yes. the PCS playoffs. Marble was relying a lot on Smolder earlier in the playoffs, but actually his virus is very low in lane dominant as well. Um, and then Dasher has honestly just been a fucking stud, man. That Dash has been great. You can see that Forrest does, immediate Sejuani ban. I think it'll be interesting following that mid lane matchup actually as well, because I think if Maple gets the better of Dasher, which he kind of did the last time, I think it was close, but Maple would probably be better, let's be real. That could be a bit of an undoing as well, because I think while Marble and Ebby still were more than fine at their respective matchup, Maple on that Nico in that game five in particular just made Hawks cry repeatedly. Um, Hey, uh, put your house on X, it will sure win. That's exactly how it works. Nitron, stop suggesting that people bet their houses on this. It's a bad idea. Don't encourage it. Yeah, maybe, maybe not that no, one, folks. Don't encourage that. You, you, okay. <laughs> Lots of bot lane burns. Um, I need to get GL, GOL up as well. It has to help with this. Um, PSG Talon. Righty, what's our first pick priority? I mean... We have stuff like the Ari and the Nico, which have been um, pretty powerful for both of these players. Well, the Ari for Dasher and then the Nico for, for Maple. I wonder if, yeah, I actually wonder if having something like lane dominant early can help kind of keep Dasher down. If you pick Ariana, it's harder to pick Ari because you get chunked out really hard with just a QW. Um, I wouldn't, I, I'd be very surprised if it was the first pick though. Very, very surprised. Um, yeah, same. Uh, though it's very, it is pretty strong. We yeah. saw Mirwin was playing at top lane. It's so Ari first pick. It. There okay. it is. Okay, so um, I think that the smaller comps have been really good from the Hawks. The thing, so a lot of people ask in terms of how good are um, how good are Hawks compared to you know the Exodia DFM composition um, like uh, lineup rather um, are they are, you know are they better than DFM? Right now, obviously they are, um, and if so, why is that? Um, well, I don't know about the whole like conversation about 21 DFM about that that one that one might be a bit far-fetched because they were such good individual playmakers but what the Hawks have lost in individual laning power compared to you know that DFM um, roster they make up for in very organized play I think DFM actually have very bad objective setup I think that Hawks have actually been much better at that comparative now it's not like it is always the best but um yeah, I am happy to see Dasher have success too. You know, Dasher getting yeah, his too. first LJL title, um, being on a roster where he can actually finally strut his stuff, it's it's really cool to see that actually, for sure. I think, I had this conversation with one of the English casters, I think, yesterday. Because he was like, yo, Dasher, he, he was so good. And I was like, yeah, look, this guy has been kind of kicked out the limelight just a little bit. Because before, after he was the big guy on USG, on Unsold Stuff Gaming, it was mm. Arya came in. And did despicable things he in was and almost then followed almost up the best the best player in his role and he, in so he was game. almost exactly and so he's been top three mid for years but finally he's got a team around him that's as good as he is in many ways and it's meant that his ability to play the game has been so much better locked an annie here for him i think with the lee sin clearly your burst combo is ridiculously high you're wanting to try and pop the the high mobility people before they get to run away i think cleanse is pretty much a guarantee now for betty um I don't know. I, I've seen some very good Annie's and some very mediocre ones over the last few years. Yeah, I mean, um, Annie is typically still a pretty good pick to just lock down Ari in the early lane. Um, and particularly Annie Lee Sin, you just have huge point and click one shot potential. So you're basically waiting for Ari to get to first item Merc Treads and then just like try and survive a lot of the lane and then um, try and play through, like just try and get out of lane at some point. It can be quite hard though. Because whenever you have better wave clear, but to step up to the wave means that you get traded by Annie. So even though Annie doesn't push yeah. fast, she stops you from pushing at all, so she wins that way. Um, and obviously you can't use your skills on the wave. Here for bands here as well, looking at it. That wouldn't surprise me, yeah. Um, I think it has to be a Rek'Sai, right? That wouldn't surprise me, yeah. Um, what do you want to What's the other good jungler with Ari? I'm blanking on here. Vi and there's, there's one Wukong Shinzo, as well and Shinzo. Wukong's Shinzo's better bad. right now, yeah. Maybe Viego, I suppose. Junja does love his Viego. Um, so there is something here as well, which what there is a problem with um, going towards. Um, so I mean, we do have Rexai up potentially. I mean, if you if you don't ban the Rexai for PSG and you take it yourself, then um, you could get counterpicked with the Rumble last pick as well, and then you'd have like Annie Rumble kind of like big engage combo. Yeah, Rexai's up here. Okay. 
So they did go for the Wukong Bam, so there you go. And mm -hmm. there's the right side, not a surprise. Alistair for Vista should not be a surprise. Yeah, and that should be okay in terms of the landing phase as well. Okay. Okay, so it's top is counter pick for Ebi, which should scare Aji quite a lot. Don't they? Not to put yeah. too fine a point on it. <laughs> okay, so PSG, yep, I mean, I like the Shinsai in terms of the combo with the Ari, it's really good at um, early levels. Um, and also means that kind of like when you just go aggressive, Ari can always follow up. What are you blind picking here, though, for Aja? I mean, you get I me. Mean, yeah. What are you blind picking? It would be funny to lock it in there, got. He's actually just hovering like a load of the picks which I've used to play in terms of like the Urgot and the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think he used to be a big Riven player as well, did. Uh, okay. Yeah, this one's not surprising. The last time we saw um, Azure play this against Ebi, it was like. He actually ended up really accelerating the game. Pretty sure. <sighs> oh, did the tea get made, by the way? It's brewing currently. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll go get it now. So I'll once see. I see last pick, I'll go get it. Oh, sure. Cool. Right, okay. Sante Looks like it is Ebi Kasante. Ebi Kasante yeah. for his life. Thumbs up. Oh, man. There's that meme of him as Kasante. There you go. All right. There's the drafts. Um, Hawks, all about team fighting and pick. Keep the smolder alive and be carry. On the other side, it's a little bit more mid-game focused. You've got a bit more DPS, but less frontline. They have really good um, you are trying to kill Rakan the angle, though. Like, this Rakan could also be just, like, game-ending if it's a good enough angle. Um, also, Maple, like, if he wakes up, then this is this is a good Ari game as well. Hmm. Now, you're against double frontline. If if Hawks position well, I think the Ari is not going to be as much of an issue. But um, I think a lot of this game comes down to Forest and Dasher and how they control the early game. Um, oh, from, from Hawks' side. So, yeah. Uh, the other thing is, if Hawks fight too early, I think it might get a I don't know, I don't know. There's the thing is, there's a point at level 6 where that top that top jungle mid combo is actually really scary. And I know you've got a smolder on the other side, but I, I do think there is a world there where the um, combo gets really hard to manage. Yeah, I'll be right back with that T. Wouldn't Udyr have just been better than Kasante here? Um, so the Udyr has less backline threat, which is the one thing. Um, I mean, typically Udyr has been pretty good into Rumble because you outwave clear him, but I feel like Udyr just slowly loses to the Rumble now, but then again, doesn't the Kasante? That's a fair point. Also, I guess just the fact that Ebi's not wait. Did Ebi even play that much Cassante? It might be a might be a champion pool thing actually. Let me check. Let me, let me check real quick. Okay, let me just change my camera size. Small mirror. Okay. Yeah, Ebi just isn't playing Udi. It might be just an Ebi thing. Maybe just Ebi just doesn't like the champion as much. It's still um. How are three Koreans allowed to be on a Japanese roster? Because um, Dasha has played in Japan for a great many years and therefore has Japanese, um, 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 what does I call it, residency. He's played he's played on this to the, um, on on different uh, Japanese rosters for forever. Uh, he's been on that. He's actually been on the Hawks um, since they formed as an organization as well. Thank you, sir. In your Ari mode, no less. Yeah. So um, I mean, he so the Hawks formed in 2020, folks. Um, and they signed a lot of big name players. They signed Yutori Miyashi, who was like one of the big um, Japanese AD carries. He was oh, like right. the other guy besides Utapon. Right. You had Dasha, you had Ramane coming yeah. into the mid lane. Dasha actually role swapped to top lane to play for this team initially. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Kind of killed his career a bit, actually. Yeah, I did Never kind of. Oh, um, so it's... a big thing here as well. Maple's gone for Spellbook, so we can take Cleanse against the Annie. Um, so okay, wait sense. for the first fight of the game, you might see Cleanse and then Ignite. It might also mean that he ends up skipping going for Merc Treads early and then instead just goes for Cleanse in the big fight, but then you don't have it on, you don't have it for a lot of big fights after that point, so. Yeah, that'll be interesting to track. I'm kind of there with you. I think the other thing is, um, in some ways, I think just running Cleanse perhaps puts you in a difficult position when you are going to want to try and play the side lanes mm -hmm. a bit more. Ah, uh, Vista didn't um, cancel that combo. That's a little bit awkward. Ah, it's okay, actually. I just get a couple more attacks back. It's fine. Yeah, the trade, yeah, the trade back wasn't awful. Oh, they actually have the stacks of Smolder on the left-hand side as well. Right-hand side as well. That's oh, really that's cool. Nice. Okay, so we have the Smolder yeah, stacks. Yeah, that's convenient. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really helpful. 
Remember the break points, guys. 225. Need to know it. Very important. If you don't know it by this point, are you watching League yeah, of Legends? Yeah, and this is still 14.5 as well. So. Well, welcome. That number's important. Yeah, this is also... Um, oh, um, did Junji get spotted there? I'm pretty sure he did. He did. There was a warden river that I think should have spotted him. Dash has there is... He's fine. He's got multi shield. Go a bit further, maybe. Yeah. And he's just gonna he's gonna get four star lane, which is obviously not great. But um, uh, I mean, you probably shouldn't just walk like that <laughs> into him. Cause that yeah, I mean, he's got his lane at a really bad spot now because he has low HP and you can't contest the wave. He's probably blowing flash minimum here. Forest needs to be here. Forest or Vista needs to be here. Vista's here. Yeah, but it's too late. It's not. It's happening just a little too late. You know. Oh, actually, well, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, man, Vista. That was clean. <laughs> First blood in finals to Hawks. Oh, I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> oh, my God, the Hawks are just different, man. The Hawks are just different, man. They're just different. Betty needs to be careful about where he slides it, because this could get really ugly. Yeah? Oh, oh is he's been cancelled? Is he? Is he just got cancelled? Yeah. Oh, oh, this no, is having a freaking circus show right now, in a good way. Uh, would he cause some problems? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that, that's why um, uh, Marble just popped ghost early. Holy moly! I mean, the timing of this play is actually not great. The way that they play it out is, but this should have happened a wave earlier from Vista. You shouldn't be looking to get the kill. You should be realistically looking to reset the wave in a good way Shield, for, yeah, for, for, for Dasher. So, like, put it this way. That's not the best play, but I'm glad it worked. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly. It was, it, it, was, it was good damage control, if you know what I mean. That, that, that's always yeah. a solid skill set in its own right. The legend of Yutori Miyashi has been told in all of Germany. Why is that? Hello, original. Oh yeah, why is you Tori Mashi so popular in Germany? That's I didn't know that. Um, hello, original Ebby enjoy. Thank. Well, hello to you too. We. I'm sure there were people before us, but we do enjoy Ebby. I think I was more early than you. Yeah, you're always earlier than me. Yeah, because um, I, I remember. Well, I, I remember watching like Seventh Heaven and games back in like 20, oh, man, yeah, 17, 2018 or so. Maybe even before that, actually. Because like I didn't watch LGL religiously, but I did. I did watch it every now and again because I was so obsessed with esports back then. Well, not that I'm not now, but I work in the damn thing. But but you used to watch like every yeah. major region. I mean, so did I actually. Well, like, yeah, I watched. I watched pretty much every single game in season five from EU NA, um, LMS, and LPL. LCK. L LPL, I actually didn't watch as much as I watched some bits. Um, but like because it was just such a huge region again. But um. Yeah, it was just it's it's daunting to get involved with in some ways. Mm. Top lane, yeah, you kind of expect this to go the way of the rumble pretty heavily. Owie. Yeah, this... Yeah, you just have to kind of eat that and be okay with it. If you get hit by two overheated um, flame... Not flame spitters, the Elytra uh, Harpoons. The Harpoons you, it does yeah. not matter how much magic resist you have, you just feel awful. Okay, you didn't have the stun on that one, but it's just good damage. I mean, Maple, he doesn't want to pull the ult. Yeah, that's good from Dasher, actually. He was like, well, you yeah. don't want to play that ult, do you? You're going to. <laughs> This is map run away from tippers. Come on now, you've not got boots. <laughs> okay. Brothers it's worth noting that Ma back, yeah, man. Yeah, back. but Maple's um. Yeah, yeah. Maple's been um. Pretty good in laning phase. He's actually switched to the ignite for the first play of the game, not the cleanse. I guess because the anti tippers is down. But then you're still. Eh, I mean, you can keep this ignite until whenever, really. Because uh, Spellbook's got a little, like, internal cooldown. What's the farming like? Oh, he misses one. The rest of it's okay, though. So he misses one on the turret. Should be okay besides that. Nice. nice. Good farm. Good farm. One. You're alright with that. I think he's still going to be behind oh, about a wave, but hey, I am. I'm actually quite tense. Probably. I'm actually quite tense, because, like, I, know, I, I really know. want I'm Hawks to win. In this, I, I'm actually quite, like, Sam and I have been watching LGL for, well, we've been casting, you know, LGL in terms of an official broadcast for freaking forever. Um, you know, we started Four off covering, we we, yeah, we started off covering LGL in, like, what, 2020? And then, obviously, we've got a lot of friends we've met along the way doing that. That was really the start of our career, though, in a lot of ways, so. And a lot of that was through Abby as well, thinking about it. And how dominant he was back in 2020, 2021. He was just, he was just a level above. He is still a level above for the LGL. And um, 
I'm really glad I got to meet him as well. Uh, we we, we oh, met him. We met. He's such a sweetheart. We met him over in Berlin, and um, I'm really hoping that he makes it through to Worlds so um, we can we can meet him again. That would be. You know what? If he does make it to Worlds, I'm gonna have to reach out and see if there's anyone at Hawks who wants to do some English content for for Worlds. That would be cool. Yeah, it's tr good luck staying awake, Nathalie. We've been watching back-to-back -back finals of various. Oh really? Wow. Like I mean, VCS finals are happening as well, right? Yeah. Exactly. Uh, where's the T1 DK series this morning too? Oh really? How'd that go? A uh, 3-0 for T1, but the okay. last game was a bit weird, they still won it. Okay, alright, alright. Let's catch up on that. Okay, the dragon didn't go the way of... I was too busy looking at chat, I missed the forest didn't finish up taking the dragon. Yeah, yeah, he, no, he didn't take... he peeled off that pretty quickly. Um, I think it would have been really... Oh, gee, thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it. Uh, five months, damn. It has been time. <laughs> Thank you all for the follows, by the way. As Manzi, Kylie, uh, Pablo, Pablo, call. Thanks, for Pablo. I, I, my Discord mute button on my stream deck isn't working today, by the way. I've, I've had to. Remember I've, I've normal. realized that. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've just gone and looked at my hotkeys. Yeah. Find out what the hotkeys are. The, the, the hotkeys occasionally do now reset themselves. They do occasionally reset. reset themselves. Okay, so again, basically what Dasher is doing is making that maple never sh never has all. Yeah. Which is, which is fun, actually. Into, sorry, Annie's doing to the RE pack. Yeah, exactly. Um, and basically, you're trying to ult in time for um, Azari to not lose enough HP. Now, this is why I actually don't mind seeing, um, like, Boots Rush first on Ari, Um Because you can just go towards Merc Treads, and it, it means it's much, much harder to chunk you out to that point where you can't um, fight. But it also just means you give up a lot of agency. Um, so... I mean, because Dashi uses that ult in mid, you can't really fight in botside jungle because you've got the Zeri versus the Smolder right now. I mean, obviously the Zeri's going to do more in regards to. Um, I mean, Dash doesn't have. Yeah, that's. Yeah, he's, that's a dead Dasher. So what that was was just a really nice um, the the Q into the E. You clear the wave. You clear the wave with the with the Q. If you hit the enemy champion, the damage is still there anyway. And then obviously that clears the wave for the um, for the charm. Oh, Forest actually could have got a killer if it lands that Q. Yeah, if I hit, that could have been pretty scary. Can we call Dash a venison now? Boo, Trinity. Hang on, where is it? So yeah, I think on the whole, Sam, can you not do that on... that? It actually just breaks Discord a little bit because your audio is a little weird through Discord. It kind of like breaks up. <laughs> what do you mean it's a bit weird? Like it's a little bit distorted on, on Discord. It's like... <laughs> I don't know why that is. I don't know either. I'm not telling you why it is. I don't know. <laughs> that later. Okay, Forrest got an angle on top side. This is probably kill onto Aj. Nice Q3 for maybe. That's really nice. Nice, nice, nice. Vista was there as well. Is this for grub? Yeah, yeah. I have to say, I mean, I think Hawks have, like, I like the fact that Forrest and Vista are moving together. I think one of the big thing which has changed this team compared to other LGL teams is the fact that their jungle support moves differently from, from other teams. I think Vista... Uh, Vista and Forest have moved really well in the early game, um, which is really cool yep. to see. You know, the Hawks used to play with blank. Um, you know, they they used to having LCK kind of like um, like jungle. Junglers, yeah. Uh, they also play used to play with Reiner as well. He was one of the best LGL supports. Um, but I think just the fact that Forest and Vista are coming in straight from LCK trainee and LCK proper is like. Um, yeah. What's the idea with using the equalize the way he did there? I mean, was he clearing? I actually didn't check if he cleared the rest of the wave. I think but, he stopped um, the wave being shoved, and it also means that it was very difficult for Ebby and Forrest to go contest Grubs, which means Aja gets to teleport back in, still have wave shoved, and still be able to. I mean, go they weren't going to be able to get get contest Grubs, grubs anyway. They won't be able so to. So, well, they get six Grubs. They wouldn't have been able to get Grubs anyway, even with or without the equalizer. That that means actually nothing in that one. Well, I don't know because I thought because I think it shoved the wave, didn't it? Why does that matter in that case? Ebby's going to recall after because that Because then he would have had the wave shift, and I don't know whether Aja could have joined as easily. Ebby, Ebby immediately re Um, Dasher is really getting preyed on this mid lane, man. I really have to say, PSG in terms of mid jungle and mid jungle support have done a. L oh, they okay. oh, they used oh, the old pop side. Okay. Yeah, so actually, that was that because of where the observers were. It looked better than it, it looked better than it was. Oh, Dash is running at the menacingly. You can see he was just trying to get that max range Q. Um, but I do I think on the whole, PSG have played better around mid jungle supports. Like, you can see that SSG a little bit slower to the play. This is why this series hopefully is going to be really close. Well, no, hopefully it's going to be Hawks win. But, um, uh, yeah, yeah no, like, that's funny. where this, that's I'm where a lot of this series is going to be, um, uh, determined, I think. You'll be a little nervous for your point, says Nitron. 
Yo, you're, you're a PSG enjoy, huh? No, but, one of the PSG enjoys him. Ah, uh, right, okay. Marble stacking, fine. Yeah, this is still looking very playable for Hawks right now. I just need to be a little bit careful they don't get snowballed on from this. Point. Well, I mean, they're, they're, they're 2k down at, at 12 minutes, so that's obviously not great in terms of laning leads. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think it's not game breaking right now. They're going to be, they'll be fine. Like, my, my issue is from this point, having lost six grubs. Actually, legit, where break. is all that gold coming from? Uh, I mean, it wasn't first it's... blood. They're killed down. They're not, like, 10 CS, it's, it's 10 CS, 30 CS. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, it's like 50 CS lead. But even then. Yeah. yeah. Why is PCS and VCS still 14.5? Because their playoffs started on it. You have to play the playoffs on a single patch, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, First strike top lane as well? Yeah, that's a really good point, G. First strike is also adding a little bit of extra cash. It's not that much this early, though. You know, late game against no, the bottom There's, 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 there's gold, um, so. five plates as well as the other thing. There's three, two plates bottom, two plates mid, one plate top. This is the first plate that Hawks have mm, got. And then also a coal cash then. Okay, all right. There's actually some different kind of like resi residual income then there from um, PSG. Because of MSI 2017, when LGL played against the OS representative, it was cast by Solar and Dentist, um, DeCalden. It's an absolute chaos cast, and Solar and Dentist focused a lot on Yuta and Miyashi. They presented him as the, uh, as, uh, as the messiah and similar things of highlights of the cast of it uploaded by Solar, and it's one of his most viewed videos. Oh, that's really cool to know. I actually didn't oh, realize that's that. Fun. That's, that's really fun. That's story. I'm really glad oh, that there are- Have you got a link yeah. for that somewhere? Can you throw that one of our discords or something? I'd love to well, see that. Well, they're on my YouTube chat. They can just throw it into Discord. Uh, uh, into, into okay, okay, all right. Anyway, Dragon fight, Dragon, Dragon fight, Dragon fight, Dragon fight. Oh, there we go, Dasha. He did didn't catch Betsy though. Yeah, he didn't catch Betsy. Oh damn, they got lost the dragon anyway. Okay, Forrest's about to die. They're gonna get Azure? No, they're not because he's just throwing a flame. They, they're oh, fighting too early. Never mind. Oh god. Oh god. They just brought a flamethrower yeah. to their team. Well, it, well, I don't think that's actually the problem. I think the problem is that Dasha didn't catch Betsy in the engage and um, he didn't even blow the clan. I know, I make it a meme. It's fine. <laughs> So yeah, yeah the problem is that Betty wasn't caught by the initial engage, and like you don't have like big combat stats right now, so that's no. a shame. I had, you know, I've praised um, Hawks in their dragon fights so far. This one, not a great example great. of that. So now the and problem is you're against a team well. which which no, no, spikes no. earlier than you, and now you have to play from behind. So that's yeah, this is pretty disastrous. I mean, like now it's gone from like one and a half thousand gold just before this dragon to now like five thousand. It's a massive change. That's actually really good from Betty with the E. Very well timed. Actually, the bigger problem here is, here is actually that he had Clan Slash anyway. Even if you catch him with Dasher, you don't kill him. That's the bigger problem. Yeah, true. So I think Dasher is Dasher just used the bad engagement. They didn't get, get either summer either. kind of a bit of a sap. No, they got the Flash. That's not true. Oh, they did. Sorry, I got, I got, I got spectator. I got spectator baited. I got spectator. No, he was down in the replay as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it sure. wasn't. I might have, I kind of could have just missed it, but I went looking, I was like, huh, didn't see Flash being burned. Anyway, so now you have, maybe, like, maybe... Ari, who's really snowballed ahead. You have um, a smolder that's going to take a while to come online, so... Yeah, PSG massively in the driving seat now, so the Hawks... Um, right, how do you play this one out? I mean, you've got Lee Sin, you've got Lee Sin Annie, so I suppose your dragon fight at this point is awful, but I don't know. And Lee Sin Annie's not a great dragon fight comp, is the thing, though. It's not. No, well, like, like is... in terms of, well, no, more in terms of fighting around that second dragon when you're, like, got level, what was it, 9 at the time? That's a pretty strong point of power for both of those champions. But you're still just really down in consistent DPS, which is just, yeah. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. I'm just saying, like, if you were going to try and play around it, I mean, that those are the champions who've got the spikes now, I guess. But yeah, I, mm. I wouldn't have, I don't think. We got win in here. Um, at this point, looking pretty PSG favored. They've got a lot of the early objectives. They've got mm. a lot of the early gold. They scale fine, even if they are into a smolder. They've got Zeri, which has got an early gold. So Ari Snowball should, in theory, be a PSG win. This point. Yeah, this is like definitely like Depth Ops was like the eighty percent win chance plus at this point for um for PSG, particularly with Maple getting ahead. It's um. Like this Ari with Merc Treads and like getting like just extra stats on the board, much it's quite hard for Hawks to like cleanly shut her down. Um Yeah. Thanks, uh Limbod. Appreciate it. Um yeah, we got pinged in Discord with that um video by the way for you, Tori Miyashi. Oh brilliant, thank you. That's really cool. I'll go look at that later. Um 
2017 was was a weird time for LGL. That was like before they really like 2017, 2018 was when LGL were really bottom of the barrel in a lot of ways. They they'd really fallen to a really bad point. Um, and I think a lot of it was just back then, LGL were not very good in best of ones at all, and we didn't see LGL, like, perform well in best of ones, well, for, well, pretty much ever, really, um, up until 2021. I think that actually a lot of minor region teams kind of, like, get hung out to dry because it is best of one, and they play best of three in their region at points. And we saw that VCS, we've seen that with PCS and, and LNS before that, we see that with the LGL. I think also there's an element of... Uh, before that point, we saw like good things, but not complete teams out of the LJL. Um, there, were, there were definitely points where, like, uh, when you were Tori Mershi went into National Cup back in 2017, when we saw a little bit at some of the Asia games before we saw, yeah, these guys have got good moments, but it's not consistent enough. And particularly some of their solo laners at the time just weren't consistently good enough at laning, even to get to the point of the game where yeah. they were actually solid teams. Um, uh, and that kind of changed with, with the 21 because the laners of that era of DFM were just unheard of for a minor. VCS notwithstanding, obviously, because I think VCS and uh, LMS that became VCS were kind of a, on a, obviously on a slightly different tier rate. But I think LGL kind of put their name over that. We have got some pretty scary members of our own here that can do some damage if they're given the opportunity, and they did. They did it with uh, some pretty interesting stuff. Part of the reason why we've got a few of you guys in here still remembering that. Mm. I do remember that Yutori Mayashi um, ramp was involved in the other team. Oh, no. Um, who am I thinking? No, was it Rampage? I, I'm not must catching any Rampage. of these words, Sam. <laughs> must have been Rampage back in 2017, right? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It was either Rampage or Pentagram, there. one of the iterations of it. No, it was Rampage, for sure. I think Pentagram was 2018, maybe. I think it was 2017, Rampage, 2018. Ooh, nice challenge there. Okay, so Hawks looking to split the map a little bit, but their comp is not as good playing on um, wider map because you have a Rakan that's roaming really, really well, um, even though the Alistair can as well. Um, Ari is just much better at playing around side lanes than, than, than Annie is, which is why you can see that. Ooh, Forest forces the ult at least, that's nice. Is it again? The Mal? Hmm, so he just chunks out Maple to the point where Maple does have Teleport. Okay, really long range equalizer actually. I don't think Forest needed a flash there, I'm not gonna lie. I think he thought they were going to be a bit more aggressive than they were, but yeah, I So while that's happening, there's... Wait, an objective bounty, and that took the top top side, but there was no local gold going down. I mean, you still get the, um, you still get the local gold, which is f not the local gold. You get the shut down, the objective gold, um, the objective bounty gold, and then you have, like, the global gold as well, so that's still not awful, yeah. but you do lose that some did. of the local gold. You lose that in some of the local gold, and the Hawks, like, they need as much gold as possible, really, so, you know. Twenty seventeen was rampage. Good, thank you, Trinity. I was having a moment. I was like, I'm pretty sure it was rampage. Okay. Crit bloom early. That makes sense. Could be a lot of magic resist. He's into it's double AP solo laners. Uh, yeah, there's a king working first on the other uh, on the So that makes some sense for Marja. I start to turret down. I don't know how readily Hawks are going to push up to contest another turret at this point. Well, that's why it's kind of an issue that they didn't get full results out of the one turret that they could get. Um, because like losing any gold at this point, particularly this early into the game, is not great. You're against. I mean, yeah, you no, might, you might just like, you might just let the soul go over. Um, but Chem soul. Yeah, you, you're not a two two five. You can get you're that not for it. Two two five. I don't think you get, so. You'll be at about. Wait, what do you what do you mean you're not getting two two five? You've got three minutes to get it, when you're on um two hundred. You get it. Yeah, I thought because I think you'd be about two fifteen, aren't you? Um, you should get it. I you should get it with like another skill shot in the play if at all possible as well. It's just a case That's of wait. It's actually it's true. actually more That's important true. whether you're um, it's actually more important whether you're getting fire cannon for this dragon. I think. Yeah. So we're just hoping uh, that Marble can just te like the thing about Marble is that he has just chilled until late game team fights. That's been his style um, over plus, and he's actually done very well at it comparative to yeah. what I thought he would do. He gets um, team fights. He's very valuable. Like yeah. man, it's so cool Mar seeing Marble doing you know doing well here. Well. Um. Okay. That's a. Oh, all right, Vista. Ah, uh, he didn't have to stun up again. Get. That's he's just gonna pop Preston's guard. Oh, would he? 
Who don't oh, that's actually really good. That's really good from Hawks, actually. Okay, they get so much out of that, and Ebi can continue to keep running. He's still got all out to work. With. I mean, yeah, he gets um, slowed down, so. Betty needs to get over the wall. He can't do anything more than that. Okay, so that's a pick onto the jungle with nothing for them. Now, the, pr the problem is, though, you've just... Well, no, no, no. You know what? I would say it's a problem that Alistair has blown Flash, but you also blew it on... Particularly, Shin Sao is a really big thing. Um, because that means that Jinja can't... Maple's had can't... to switch to Ghost. He burned his. Yeah, so, you, yeah, so you've, you've blown mid-jungle Flash. And though Maple does have... Um, Ghost, he doesn't have any, like, combat summoners now, basically. This is... Yeah, just... This is just really um, disrespectful. Nice job, Vista. You know, um, Dash actually misses work. the initial burst on the, the Annie there. It wouldn't have been the stun. You already got the stun there first. Rakan flash as well? Yeah, Rakan having no flashes. Absolutely huge, actually. Yeah, so, 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 yeah, yeah, I said the Rakan flash went down as well. So they got three flashes for one. Oh, I thought you mentioned that Maple had it, but... um. No, I said, I said, oh, no, I said Maple, Junja, and Rakan. Yeah. Right. Okay, so still a huge gold lead for PSG. It's, you know, it's 5k. Um... I actually got marble quite a lot of stacks. Actually, He's, he should. You know, now he should get it. In time. Well, uh, you, actually, he, Sam, he was likely getting it anyway. He was likely getting it anyway. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, you are. Once you have this uh, item combo, you're basically killing every single minion with it. So. I don't really think Hawks can um, lock down Zeri anymore. Um, seems unbeatable with this gold lead. I mean, the question is whether the Smolder can then match that. Yeah, he's on. Uh, he's he's got the stacks yeah, now. He has a he has the stacks a minute early, so and he can get himself fire cannon. So we have three items, two two five smolder. Okay, it's playable now from Hawks. It's actually playable now. He didn't from get Hawks. it. Oh, he didn't get. It. Oh, he didn't get it. Oh shit. Also worth noting, he went for Swifties instead of um, cooldown boots as well. I don't mind it actually. I think the Swifties really help you kind of like just space out a little bit more in these fights. I think. When you're dealing with Zeri slows, Shin Sao slows, Rumble slow, yeah, I think that makes some sense. Okay, there we go, 2 5 Okay. Dragon in 20 seconds. Get spicy. Right, this is this is the fight to end them all, I think. Garm's going to MSI? Damn, really? Even after everything? After everything? Really? Jeez, I thought Garm. Vikings had it. I need to go get my, um, I gotta go get my, my Garm jerseys over there somewhere. Yeah, it's a really nice jersey, actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cassante and Ari trading in mid lane, so. I think it's actually. Yes, G, actually. Yeah, I was about to say, I think Abby being a front line is actually kind of important for Hawks right now. Are we. Ri I mean. Are we flipping this? Flipping this? Watch for Azure on the flank as well. They don't know he's there. Oh, there's a fresh out of solo queue top laner that just keeps dying to Kiaia, right. Okay, it's not a bad equalizer. Oh, dear. Yeah, this is not a great. That, like, Marble's doing no damage here right now. Although, Abby's actually got a good angle here. Forest? What? Yeah, it's not gonna. Okay, Maple, yeah, it's just, oh, just about to burn him. Yeah, I mean, this is a really good equalizer for Aja. They do. Doesn't Aja just kill them? Yeah. yeah where's Marble? Can't do anything yet. Yeah, exactly. He's out of the fight. Well, no, he's trying to just get some last kill participation in. Again, like, what do you want him to do? <laughs> like, what do you want him to do there? Well, you, well, if he leaves, then you don't get any chance to fight back. If he gets a kill back, maybe it's playable. Like, I actually don't even blame I think, him for I that. I think flying forward there is a mistake, probably. I don't think it is. Or rather, like, I understand the mindset. The actual execution of it's bad, but I actually think the mindset of it's good. I mean, I was just equalizer there. Absolutely incredible, by the way. Because it meant that Marble had to go backwards instead of forwards. I actually... Yeah, I think that Hawks... Um, they might, might have positioned a little bit poorly with regards to that now, thinking about it on the second, um, second thought. Yeah, because because uh, uh, I should got to go on that flank without anyone knowing it's there. I don't think. Um, VCS seems really weak. Really sad about uh, about it after Worlds looks so good. I mean, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, this this is what happens when you have loads of people implicated in match fixing scandals. So you know, close on the smite. I actually yeah, but I mean like Ebby wasn't there to frontline from the start. Which means that Marble can't just walk over the Equalizer and just hope for the best. Um, because he has a front line in front of him. Like, Aja does such a good job of denying- This is this fight is actually all on Aja, by the way. Like, he equalizes yeah, Marble really out of the DPS. Like, even if he doesn't do a huge amount of damage, he stops Marble from doing damage as the 225 um, Smolder. 
And like yeah, right here, I mean, really nice for Maple to find the fine angle there at the end of it. And also, like, not to put too fine point on it, uh, you know, you'll get. I'll give some credit for like Ebby and Crew for getting rid of Betty. That's nice. But the fact that Marble threw what two, three Qs out that fight. But he couldn't do anything else because of Arja. Yeah. That's yeah, exactly. not on Marble. That's on Arja. It's it's good play from Arja. That's what I'm saying. I literally just said that. <laughs> hey, Zach. Um, yeah, there was. You're right, Trini. There was a ward in that bush because it was caught off the bottom of the bit off the screen. I didn't see it till the replay. It's like a one hit left. So yes, Arjo was sort of on vision. What? Oh, sorry, your your Discord um, like got some like weird, weird um like audio cuts off. I think at points. So I hear the I hear the clicks and clacks. We don't always hear the end of the sentence. Interesting. Might be a um, sound gate thing. I'm not sure. Am I, are you using noise suppression at all, or anything like echo cancellation? Um, I've got some noise suppression. Noise no, no, from Discord, from Discord settings. Like, is there noise suppression or echo cancellation on it? Sometimes that can mess things around. Okay. That's just right. updated. It should. No, I don't. Forrest has had a very hit and miss game. You know, I think that Forrest is such a great player for Hawks, but when he shut down, this guy really struggles to find good value. Like, he's not a good player at playing from behind the state of a game. Um. No, he's had a bit of a weird old game on the lease then. Mm. I also just think, like, Hawks comp once again didn't have any lane priority. Okay, that's a big it. play, but yeah, you just don't have the stats. Playing, I have yeah. to say, this is not the first time I've seen the Hawks, like, all in onto. I mean, this high case is not just the Shinsao, but they. Like, if you all in with the Shinsao there, and, like, you don't kill the Shinsao before his ult pops, like. It's, it's, it's a bad time, it's yeah. Really this is game over. It's very, very swiftly done. It really well played from PSG. They really, really snowball Yeah, they played this one um, very, very well. I will I mean, say, I, I, think I think that Hawks next... messed up a lot of their opportunities. I think that, on the whole, I think that Maple and Ginger were, were better, better than the Hawks. Yeah. And then, obviously, the, 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 the dragon fight, the second dragon fight, whatever it was, or maybe third, was it? I think it was third. Not well done. It was, it was um, not great from, from Hawks when can let the flash forward from Dasher, not really getting that much value. Um, but honestly, I mean, credit to PSG, like, they're, they're a great team, so. Yeah, I, I think I'd also add that, um, I think there was probably, the, the, kind of having the Ari getting shoved in mid for large portions of it, partly because jungle was there, partly because he had the top lane shoved in as well, like, the lack of lane priority as well, meant that there was, like, Forest wasn't really making anything happen, wasn't doing a lot either, so they lost all the early objectives too, so when they went for the one objective fight, it went so horribly wrong. I think Hawks were suddenly looking a little bit like, well, what the hell do we do now? They didn't really have much of a game plan from that point. Okay, right, classic five-game Hawks angle. I will not we'll have a heartbeat after that. <laughs> if it goes to five games, uh, I will decease. Um, Alex. Yes, hello. you do me a favour? What? Can you babysit my chat while I go buy his coffee? Because I said I would. Okay, yeah, sure. That's very kind of you. Yeah, I can do that. All cool. right. Go, go on, go on, just, just look after chat. I can, um, I can do that. Chat, behave yourself, I'm leaving you alone. Hey kids, Food let's go fridge. get the caffeine and sweeties! <laughs> I'm leaving the the movie slash series on the yeah. TV. Guys, I'm gonna so let you stay you up go to late. Bed 30 I'm gonna, minutes later, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you're let gonna you behave chocolate. yourself, gonna... and if I, on God, find this house a mess... <laughs> No, we're gonna, there we're gonna, will be consequences. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you play Halo Cooperative, like, four, a four-player split-screen multiplayer up until, like, midnight, and I'm gonna let you eat chocolate, um, and, yeah, you know, I, I'm the cool babysitter. <laughs> sleep well, Trinity, sleep well. Um, glad to have you in here for a bit, um, Dude. go get some sleep, I will be back with coffee, Alex. Man, I have, so, chat, I have been playing through, so, my, my, um, my partner's never played through the Halo series before, so we've been playing through, like, all of the good Halo games. So we played through Halo 1, 2, 3, and ODST. We actually did 1, 2, ODST, then 3. And then we, we finished off of Reach, even though I don't care for that game as much. And, you know, it was still, it was still, it's still a good game. It's just not for me, the level of the other Halo games. But, like, that has been so special. And I remember, like, um, I have very fond memories of playing with, 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 with this dude, like, on, on the bunk beds, where we'd have one person on the split screen sat on the top bunk, and then one of the other split screen on the, uh, on the bottom, bottom bunk. That was, that was a very special time. Um... Yeah, we're actually just moved on to Mass Effect now, so we just started playing Mass Effect 1 two days ago, and we've been going through that. I've been um, trying out Mass Effect on Insanity difficulty for the first time, and it is... 
pretty tough. So, you know. Um, yeah, Mass Effect's fantastic. Yeah. Nope. So that's my alarm for if I'd gotten up for LPL, which I didn't do yet. So, by the way, folks, when we get later into the day, um, I'm going to be switching over to LPL during the breaks. It's only tough in the beginning. You can get a tad over team by mid late game, even on Insanity. Hang on, let me open Sam's chat as well. I should do that just so I can see what you guys are saying in there too. Um, I mean, honestly, PSG, they just showed that they're a really good team, folks. Was my alarm a Avenger Sevenfold? Yeah, I've had Hail to the King as my phone alarm for like years. Since, you know, 2013, 2014 or so. So now, Hail to the King, I fucking hate that song, because I've had it as an alarm for like 10 years. It's been, yeah. It's been sure something. <laughs> okay, Blade, you go sleep now, fucks. You go sleep. Alina, 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 thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. No shenanigans are happening here. I don't trust you, Mecha. I don't know why. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, so what do Hawks need? I think they need a better... Weirdly, I think they need a better mid lane matchup for Dasher. I think Dash. You know, Dash has been fantastic on the Ari. It wouldn't surprise me to see... Um, it wouldn't surprise me to see Hawks go onto the blue side and then um, take Ari first pick. It wouldn't surprise me if that happened. Um, because I don't think the I don't think the Annie was particularly good from Dasher in terms of like what it brought to the team. It had some pick potential, but it just didn't have the damage they needed really. You have the most trustable face. I Mecca, I never get to see, you are you are a faceless person in chat. You are behind a username. How would I know whether your face is trustable? You see there's a prop there's a there's like a fundamental error here. <laughs> I'm wondering that this, this finals will work out just like last split with 100% blue side win rate. There's a chance. There's a chance. I mean, the, the thing is, Hawks tend to play the same kinds of compositions. Um, yeah, they tend to play the same kind of compositions. So it's like, particularly with like the late game scaling stuff, late game um, scaling AD carries with the, um, like the, particularly with the smolder. And if the smolder comps aren't working for them because they don't have presence in mid and bot lane early enough into the game, then Hawks might get just their feet kind of just swept from underneath them. Build up my face through words. I'm just gonna have to like make those those portraits. You know when like you zoom out of the quotes and it makes like a face of some all the important things that someone said before. It's kind of like that, you know. I don't think SSG should have played Annie into Ari and Cassante into Rumble. I completely agree. I think that, um... I think that the Cassante is fine, actually. I mean, what else are you going to pick, though? I mean, if you can play... No, I mean, if you play Aatrox or... Actually, yeah. I mean, if you want to play Frontline, I mean, you already have the Alistair. I think you want the Udyr or the or the Cassante, so I don't mind it, mind it. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about that again, actually. I mean, I think you want that. I, th I think you can allow yourself to have a losing lane topside, but have it better in team fights. But I think the problem is that effectively has three losing lanes. Even the even with that, actually, the Hawks did... Well, no, that's not true. Annie did win early, 
But I just don't think it brings enough to the team fights later, weirdly enough, even though Annie tends to. It's just, um, I think that um, on the whole, they just couldn't find value out of that Annie. I mean, I would have preferred Nico, or I mean, does that, is Dash have been playing Nico this split, actually? No, he hasn't. You could have gone for the Talir. Talir would have been okay, actually. I think Annie is okay for keeping Ari down, but the top lane matchup is awkward since you don't have enough damage. I mean, Kazante is not there for the laning matchup. He's there to be a frontline later into the game. And I think that actually was... I don't think he even played the frontline that badly, you know? See you next one. Time to switch to LPL. I mean, the game, is gameplay on right now? If, let, me, let me just... Let me see if um, games are on right now. Uh, hang on. I gotta go answer the door for something. Is that Sam? Let me let me go answer the door. I gotta answer the door. It was Sam. It was Sam at the door. Of course it was him. Um, let me just see what's happening on LPR real quick. I don't think they've started gameplay yet. It'll be like another 15 minutes until they're in. Um, this should be a banger series though. Insult for need for power. Um, let me think. Let me think. Need for power sounds like the most. Like. Oh, God, I gotta get less Sam in again. Jesus Christ, he doesn't have his keys, does he? Okay, need for, <laughs> what does it sound like? Oh, I have to keep you working on this one. Need for power sounds like the most, um, it, it sounds like the most, like, edgy fucking need for speed crossover fanfic written by someone with, like, a 160p, like, car profile picture I have ever heard of. Huh? Sausage, please. Thank you. Like, yeah, I mean, I look at that name, and I just hear, like, AMVs, but, like, with really badly cut car car footage from, from the Need for Speed franchise. Fran franchise. <laughs> 160p car profile picture is the most helpful oh, thing. <laughs> I'm back. It's saying this, um... I have to think oh. a little harder for, for people I don't know personally in terms of, like, the insult redeem I have. Um, um, but someone in chat has been on, uh, like, a really good series. I've, I've recognized them around a bit more now, a uh, bit more regular. Have the name Need for right. Power. So my, my root of thought is, like, that sounds like a Need for Speed, like, fucking, or Fast and Furious fan fiction written by someone with, like, 160p it's car like profile Marines picture. It's like Space doing Need for Speed. Marnie is Calgar. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lucky to bring his family back together. Uh, compliment for Nipa. Uh, let me think. And you know what? Despite all of these things about the fanfic, because it's you, I would read it. And that's the... <laughs> I would read it. I'm sure it, I'm sure it has wonderful writing prose. I'm sure that it has intriguing characters. I'm sure that the narrative is gripping. Um, so, if you ever do write some kind of Need for Speed and or Fast and Furious I car franchise fanfic, I would in fact read that. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I have a potential out of esports into becoming... Are you going like to become a fanfic narrator? No, or, 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 an audio, or, or exactly, a fanfiction narrator. Narrator? What, no, what, what are you going to be... I'd what? read them on stream. You'd read them on stream? Is that what you'd do? Yeah. Right. Um, what kind of fanfic, Sam? <laughs> But I think 
I think we'd have to start with the great one, wouldn't we? We need to, we need to talk about the greatest fanfiction of all time. Ebony, Raven, Dark Knight. Dark Nash, <laughs> needs to have, have her... No, stop it before it's too late. <laughs> um, Eleanor, thank you so much for the Prime, by the way. I really appreciate it. Um, let me run some ads. Oh, yeah, run ads, run ads, run ads. Oh, good call. Thank you. I'm going to do that now. Something involving Evelyn? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put that past Sam, past Sam so, you know. Even Ari fan fiction. There we go. I regret everything and I didn't even start this. Well, I feel like you facilitated it by being here and not saying stop. Um, yep. Sam, this is the cheese. We've just, we just dived off the deep end. Oh, okay. I saw a lump of cheese in the bag and I was like, you thought you gave the cheese one, but in fact, there's actually quite a visible, like, fucking versed in there. So. Sausage, yeah. Oh. Exactly. There's a big sausage in the Oh, damn. Lucky me. <laughs> now, one thing which I really love about the LGL stream, by the way, is all of this art they have during the break. Like, I wish I'm that other regions... I, I actually, actually do wish that... I wish that um, other regions would do this more, actually. I think that, like, supporting the creatives in your community is a very important thing. And the thing about League is actually, despite the fact that we hate each other in-game, we're actually quite a close-knit community on the whole. Sir James May Cheese Dip says. You uh, made this account like, twelve years ago. Oh my god. Peak Need for Speed. Wait, that wasn't. No, that was la that was after Carbon. That would have been Hot Pursuit. That would have been Need for Speed Hot <laughs> Pursuit era. Don't know about close knit, but there's literally tons of um, art out there if you ever printed all that. Absolutely. I mean, I have fan art of myself from people from LEC. Which is really, really cool. It's very, very flattering. Um, yeah, um, I, I think LEC has some really good creatives as well. But you know, um, the LGL also obviously absolutely, absolutely has fantastic creatives in this community. Actually, hang on, I might even have one here. Amazing people out the LGL. Those Rebel and Eyes, they're a great duo. Yeah. They're fantastic. Yeah, so oh, wait. these ones are from Monsty. So I have I have these ones from Monty. Monsty. So there's that one. And then there's <laughs> then there's the alter ego of Nyamera. Um Nyam Yaro. yeah. So I have I have I need to get a frame for these and then also got like an Ari print in there too, which are really, really cool actually. But yeah. How am I related to you? Um I don't know, Sam. It, 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 it's 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 uh, you know, an unfortunate series of events for you, I'm sure. <laughs> so, I absolutely, I know, right? Do I have some more up there? I think I have another one up there as well. Actually, thinking about it. But yeah, no, I'm really lucky to have gotten like some really cool fan art. Um, and, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I need to, I need, I, I, I've actually considered getting some stuff commissioned as well, just to support some of the LEC creatives in the community. That might be a nice way to give back to the community at some point, actually. Be like a yo. Do you have any favorite, well, I mean, I know the creators in the community, but I don't know, like, if they do commissions and stuff, but it'd be nice to, like, commission some stuff. And just be like, hey, have a commission to, like, of your favorite esports moment in the last year or whatever. What was your favorite esports moment? Go draw it. Or like something to commemorate it. That might be a quite cool thing. Maybe, we could, you know what, maybe that's the thing for the Austin. Okay, draft two. Straight in there. Let's go. Righty, so, uh, Hawks, so I don't know how side select works on this. I assume that it's loser gets side choice, but that's not always the case. Um, but if that's the case, Hawks have decided to stay on red side because they lost in game one. Um, I'm, can't, oh shit, what have I done there? Uh, I accidentally, yeah. I feel like most artists always have commissions open. It really depends on people who have, um, like, and their bandwidth kind of just emotionally a lot of the time, though. Hey, Fed, how's it going? Okay, so still banning out the Varus and the Sichuani. Those are really powerful picks for the, for the Hawks. I think once the Varus is gone, you lose a lot of lane pressure options for Marble. I think the Varus is, like, his I win lane pick. Yeah. 
I, I think as well, we're, um, I kind of want to see a little bit more early priority for Hawks, because I think the fact they didn't have that for a lot of the early game last time around really came back to bite them. Yeah. Um, so they banned the Ari this time. Okay, that's really different now. So you're not first picking the Ari, so what do you first pick? Um, because they really want Maple on a power pick, if they can. Yeah. You could go towards Maple. He's been a linchpin in both series, You could go actually. to Leah early, you know, if you're really focusing on Maple. Ooh, Karma. I don't think you want to go Nik. I don't think you want to go Oriana. I think Oriana's very exploitable. So it's 14.5. I mean, Karma's still the same with 14.5 and 14.6. It's still like the nerfed version from 14. Point four and ever whenever it was or three even so now strictly even if we expect it mid so now we could go for i mean the lee sin's up again for forest which is like his really he's his lee sin and sejuani are like his two really big picks um i don't think you want to go annie into karma first round that i don't think you want to judge is a good lee sin as well i, I like the slip i like the yourself Talia. Talia lee sin. i like the um you can also go to poppy as well it's a pretty fun combo yeah. Although it's not great not knowing if there's any dash champions, so... Okay. Okay, right. Vi works. Vi's lose fun. Solid combo. Um, bro, I've been in Berlin for a week and I can't stay outside for too long because of pollen allergies. Today I had plans, might not be going to you because of bad friends in my hood. Jesus, man. Um, the ki so I have hay fever as well. Obviously take your antihistamines and stuff. If you can find, lo if you can find local honey and drink that, like drink that with, like you have that in your drinks, it can really help as well because it's made with local wildflowers and I guess you have your body more used to it. Okay, so it feels like Smolder has been a huge power pick in, in, in PCS, by the way. So Bethy's going towards yeah, that. Has. So what does Marble go towards now? He is a bit of a severe player. He always was. He could do that for scaling for scaling. They could also go for a center lane as well. Um, I won't lose all my points, I won't lose all my points, says <coughs> LNG Scout is best. Mate, your name is yeah, LNG uh -huh. Scout is best. You put yourself Ooh, okay. into this position. It's locking in the TF just... early. So this is a huge double global hype and gauge comp from, from, from Hawks. Side so you want to you wanna ban out stuff game. which can survive in side lanes well. So what does what is Azure play to that regard? You can ban out the Cassante. Yeah, Cassante Jax maybe, just in terms of stuff that can just either can, like, ignore the gold might comp. be one as well, I suppose. But... I think the Renekton just dies hugely right yeah probably but if it's if it's something you feel like i'm gonna have to blind i don't i don't, think you, here. I don't think you can play no, rumble so. here i don't you can play rumble because rumble all. rumble just immediately dies um unless we see the weird tank rumble merc tread builds we've started seeing pop up there's been a lot of rift maker merc tread mm. rumbles in lck i don't like it that much Hoonie's yeah. been crying about it yeah I, I i i so i have seen like so um Shanju was playing like Battle Rumble with like Conqueror going Leandries and then going into Ranjuins actually. And that's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, that's basically that. Uh, so they ban out the Renekton. I don't actually think you needed okay. to ban the Renekton here. I think that, um, because Renekton can be kited so effectively by this team or just like shut down very quickly. What are you losing on the boss side though? You're losing so much on the boss side. Do they just four pick Jinx here? Jinx is not awful actually. Yeah, I don't mind the Jinx. Yeah, that's a really good call. I think actually, probably, Jinx probably gets banned here. Hmm. Okay, oh, Marble is a bit. He is actually. Games. Yeah, they had a really good Kaisa game versus um, CFO. And we have seen a lot of Kaisa in this mode. Yeah, I think that Jinx is actually okay. I mean, ha not that Marble's played it actually. He used to be a Jinx player, so I don't think he's necessarily a strength. Oh, thank you, Alert. Thanks to the radar. I appreciate it. I hope the stream went well. Oh. We're, um, we're, we're catching up on LGL on the good old days. Oh, now this is different. Now, you don't have that much AD now. So if you um, if you lock in like decent enough like tanky stuff, I mean I think that already this composition is not great into Shinzo because he just pops his ult if you don't catch him in a good enough time. It's okay to most other people though. I will say um, karma lock shields it make it plus karma shield is yeah. going to be quite annoying. Yeah. Or Mikhail's. No yeah. is it? No is it? It's nice to use drop by. Now PSG will lose, we get silver scrapes. Sounds scab is best. Just, just, just try to drag us over the line. We win huh? those for Ebby's eyebrows. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, if Ebby loses, he said he'd shave his oh, eyebrows. Yeah. This guy is like balls of steel. That's it. Woody hovering over Ebby's picks. And there's the Rex I okay. hover locked and in. I, I think. Oh, and we have the Camille support. Okay. Oh, Vista's been spamming this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shout out to Loni Hikikomori. So Hina on Twitter has been doing a lot of like scouting and put a little tweet up yeah, saying, yeah. "Yo, a lot of Callistas. Oh, not Callista. Camille support from Vista." So now you have Camille flying in from Narnia. 
TF porting it. This is the proper Avengers comp, guys. Like, Smolder is about to turn into Loki from Avengers 1. He is about to get hulked. Yeah. And the problem for PSG is that they have one damage. <clears throat> one damage source. Yeah. And if you kill the Smolder, PSG struggle. Um, lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. AoE on top of the lockdown. That being said, um... I think Rek'Sai can actually kill this team comp, like, even as full tank. We saw it with Flandre yeah, the other day. Flandre yeah, can really agreed. just make, damn, actually, make, make a mess out of things. Okay, I'm gonna go put LPL on my second screen, just so I can keep up with that as well. That's fine. Um, I'm so not gonna I have it on the screen. Though, though, it's like, actually, the, the, the Smolder staying alive this game is gonna be really hard for Beth. There are so many ways to lock the Smolder down. And you can't cleanse out of Hexec Ultimate. Um... And actually, even in side lanes, the fact that the, you've got so many ways to dive and pick on a side lane means even if you're not um, attacking the small Why don't you go to the English the broadcast of PCS Nightmare? Safe. Because I've watched the LGL broadcast for a great many years, and I have a lot of love for Eyes and Rebel. Plus, also, the LGL Hell broadcast, yes. in a lot of ways, has been, like, put in a very difficult position this year. Like, I'm very sad to see, like, Rayna long, no longer being in the broadcast and basically not having a desk, right? Um, so yeah. I, li I like to give as much love to the LGL as I can, because, you know, I, I, owe, I owe a lot to the LGL for my own career as well, like, I, the, when I started covering it in, like, my own way. Um, like, it, it, it was, like, very special to me. So I like to keep in touch with the, um, with the LGL as much as I can. It's absolutely no slight to any other broadcast, it's just the LGL is very special to us. So that, that's the reason why I go here as well. For me, hearing these voices feels like coming home in a way. It's, it's actually, not to get too waxing political stuff, but not political, waxing lyrical and so on. Um, but sh shout out to the English broadcast of PCS, they are lovely guys. Uh, they've guys chatted with me a little bit occasionally there. Uh, they are doing the Lord's work. Um, but as we said, there is, there is something about specifically the LGL broadcast that's very special. PSG has the better comp, I think. I think it does if it comes to... Well, I think that they have more consistent comp. But if SHG pull off yes. the combo, oh, it's so good. It's, it's, it's like it's unplayable for Betty if they get to play the combo. Yeah, if you get a good angle into a fight from Hawks, it's... um. So you have TF who wins against the Rek'Sai individually. You have Karma to Leo, which is a bit of a wash. Oh, you're getting level one at E-Start? Oh, what? Halo Blades. So Maple's at least... Halo Blades. <gasps> Holy shit. But that just like insta-wins mid lane. Oh, man. And now what you have is like a Q-Flash gank angle from Forest Vista. Buddy, awesome stuff. He is very good at these style of champions. Remember, his, his Alistair back in the LCK was really special, yeah. actually. And they don't even and manage got, to block out a, any CS from him from Marble either. So you don't even get any XP away from him. Oh, that's so good from Vista, Very man. Clean. Is Rexa OP right now? Why is everyone picking him? Rexa is uh, so massively why people OP. Are picking yeah. <laughs> it is, it's basically because there's a very specific issue with issue. Way that the Fury is working at the minute. So if you're buried, you get a lot of health regen from Fury. Currently, that amount of HP is effectively a ruby crystal every time you go down. So you're getting like 400 gold worth of HP every time you bury yourself. Which um, means in the mid game with a lot potion. of the things like Spirit Visage and stuff, your HP regen is absolutely obscene. Yep. You are impossible to knock out a lane. And you become this bruiser oppressor who does actually a lot of stuff with the base damage. You build tank rack, tank rack side and just are unmovable from lane, win a lot of trades, and any trades you lose, inverted commas, you heal straight back up again. It's very silly. Yeah. Plus, tunnels in lane are hard to get rid of, so you just get to run into your tunnels away from danger. The public transport system, yep. There you go. That's that's why specifically. If you want to go see people, watch people like Zayas and more actually Broken Bay played a lot of really good Rex that game. Um, but yes, it's it's kind of silly right now. Ebby had a phenomenal. Yeah, Sam, game it's Sam. It's not a Ruby well. Crystal. It's a health potion, by the way, in terms of the amount of HP. Not Ruby Crystal. I thought it was a Ruby Crystal worth of HP. Nope. I think it's something like that anyway. One of the big nerfs coming into Camille's support eventually, by the way, is, um... Sorry, that's just what G was saying in chat, and I, I can't remember the numbers, honestly. Um, I don't think you can play 2v2 around mid lane now for, for PSG. This is really dangerous for them. We're rooting for the Japanese lads, I assume. I definitely am. Ooh, that's a really good shove. Is that Ooh, enough, though? Triple knockup. Oh, that was really nice, actually, from Aja. I think they're still going to lose Junja, right? Right, 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 nope. right? No, 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 no. no. Jam, he lost all vision. 
Oh, that sucks. I just thought I thought that they couldn't fight around mid-jungle. I thought that they couldn't, but that's just insane they, play they, from Ashe. They wouldn't if Ashe didn't get the three-man oh, on Burrow. Oh, that's really painful. Oh, that oh, sucks. That's so sad. He got two, Maple got two kills as well. Oh. Sai. Where's the Aja there, actually? That was really nice. How does Forrest get caught here? So he uses his Q. I guess they just punish his Q being on cooldown. Yeah, that's just Forrest punishing his Q being on cooldown. Hmm. Then John just got Conqueror. And the, and the Vision. And, and the Karma yeah. Shield. Karma Shield. Yeah. Man, that's so and close. I think that play is still one if Archer doesn't get that three man on Burrow as well. Yeah, it's usually so. Yeah, yeah. It's usually so. That's a very close up picture of Maple. Hmm. Right. Well, that's not great. Um, you can't afford no, to be behind with this comp. Okay. Um. Okay. So first dragon at least. Would you? You? I mean, Smolder doesn't really take dragons in early game. You can't really. You no. just. You, yeah. I mean, Guys, two kills. Two kills them. doesn't mean you lose the game. It's just that with this comp you cannot really afford to be behind because you're very much about reaching certain damage thresholds. Particularly with Karma yeah, getting a lot of gold. It means that like Karma combo, gets basically. to one-shot you first because, I mean, the Hawks... Um, yeah, Karma can actually outpower Q at points too. And also the shields become much more potent as well. So, particularly with a combination like this, you're really hoping to get ahead early. So two kills is... It's not good. It's not game off. Game over, but, like, it's it's not good, right? Yeah, I, I think it, it, it's it's a, it's a not a great start from what you were hoping for, especially after what was an excellent level one. Yeah. I think I will also say that there is something to be said for, like, you are wanting to really heavily stack dragons into Smolder. It's one of the win cards. Nice this Vista. might not be bad. Gold, gold card. Onto oh. who? Oh, Ebi. He's dead. No flash. Okay. Really well played from Junja. Just just immediately focused yep. on Ebi. Hmm. That one was a bit awkward. You see, yeah, the early game from PSG. Up. The early game from just PSG is just much better. Just better. Home. Much yeah. more consistent. And I credit to them. Right. Like, yes, I want Hawks to win. I'm not going to do that by blindly understanding. But, 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 yeah. yes. There's only so much copium I can have. The rose-tinted glasses are currently showing me that Hawks could still win this, but they're mm. losing. That's what... Hang on. Hang on. Mm. Okay. Sad times, Ebby. That wasn't. Yeah, that's an overplay as well. And now the problem is you're actually behind against the Rek'Sai as well now. Yeah, two kills going over sucks. And three assists on the Rek'Sai is not great to see. And a 10 CS lead. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a wave coming. For... Going also, yeah, yeah, probably is still 10 CS, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to throw Top Esports JDG on my other screen as well, so I'm going to comment on that occasionally. So Cream's got Ari. It's one of his best champions, actually. You got Nico's strong, though. Wait, there's like a, a lot of the LPL There's a minute one first blood. Being Ari right now, though. Um, I mean, you got Knight and Rookie. Besides that, I don't think that's necessarily true. I mean, Scout's got a different... Well, one of their better champ. Uh, well, yeah, that's just... Well, I mean, is that just meta or is that just... Ari is one of the best mid lane champions, you know? Yeah, this is a problem when you... TF needs to have a lead in lane, man. TF needs to have a lane. Lane lead. This is roaming, they're gonna try and save it a bit if they can. Yeah, but if you're roaming, then obviously you're gonna be walking into the the, the Rakan and the Shinsa, who I think are much stronger now. Like, this is a very strong Shinsa. Yeah. So the thing about Rek'Sai is that you actually need to stand not quite... You need sometimes you need to stand a little closer to her, because, like, you don't want to stand at maximum E range, because that's how you get a free knock-up. Um, yeah. If you stand cl slightly closer than that, you can step over the tunnel and then stun them or whatever, and then run away. Yeah, um, yeah. Because the big thing with the um, but the big thing with the uh, the tunnel is it's always a fixed length. You you don't mm. get to change the length. Of yeah. It, 
ビット選手としてはちょっと仕掛けられないと。あと意外と上がってないので、そこ上がったタイミングでどっか仕掛けたいと。I think even if Forest comes up here, I don't think they've got enough damage to kill l a r s h e r Yeah, he can. He's. Yeah, I, I think this is. Not great. Do you have Talia? No, you have Camille coming up. a r j u does have all. Camille's here? Maybe you need to be careful. Yeah, it's over. I, it was... Okay, it's, it's good that Hawks didn't overplay that, but yeah. He used a Viol. It's not the worst cooldown ever to lose. Yeah. Uh, Dash has not really gotten on the map either right now, I have to say. Well, oh dear, heavy set. Man. I mean, what do you do there? That sucks. Ah, uh, not a good game to you for maybe. No, I mean, part of it is. I think that when he teleported mid, that's what. Or, or altered mid, that's because his wave was frozen against him anyway. So Topius was, no was just 2v2 to JDG's bot lane. They just killed him 2v2. Damn, son. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. I mean, they have Varus Nautilus as strong 2v2, but damn. Jackal of Mako yeah. on fuck, they got fucking hands, man. Yeah, they do. I mean, it's the reason I think that they're, they're better. That they've been better than Ruler and yeah. um, missing. So, yeah, they have. I'm very much. Yep, this is the Pacific Championship Series. So this is um, PCS versus LGL in terms of who gets to go to MSO. That early play in the river going wrong is actually really haunting. Yeah, now. it is. It is. And I think particularly for players like Forest, Forest likes he can play through a lead so so t uh, like skillfully. But um, PSG are the favourites. Well, uh, Hawks just three owed um CFO in the a lower bracket. And they went to, oh, yeah. and they went to five games against PSG the last time they faced. So yes, so I mean a lot of hope. This one to be close. Double stun, but okay. nah. But now you don't have now you don't have the um yeah. And also Maple's on the run first. This I think Maple's Maple's been mid diffing a bit. I have to say, game one the R is way more useful than the than the Annie. I, I don't even, yeah I think that Dash has not been like straight running it because that's you know that's not fair to say. But I don't think he's been having impact. Not really. Yeah, he's been a bit absent. Hot lane. Yeah, standing in the maximum E range sucks, man. Here we go again. Okay, if Hawks can get themselves dragon though, that might be a. Mister still doesn't have six, man. Okay. Ah, they pulled him out of the fight. The Ziggs combo. Oh dear. Oh, oh Mister. No. no. That's that's actually a misplay by Marble, because you know that they're going to be shunting him backwards. If you get the Ziggs damage, that's a clear, that's a clear kill. Oh, I'm, I was just here, and TF's not. It's another kill. Yeah, that's it's it's this game is over. Yeah. The, now this this is the problem. So. Not, not to like hammer hard on it, but like, um, just revisiting the whole like, well, it's not over when two kills go over. No, it's not. Obviously, it's not when only the first two kills go over. But the fact that Hawks are missing their shots when they were very much stronger and they'd blown flashes and stuff like that, um, was a bad sign. And now they're getting to the point where they're so far behind. And like, this composition, what happens is eventually you're going to fly in and you're not going to have damage to kill the first target like this. Um, this, this here is just a mis- I think this is a misplay by- this is just like, you'd never put the Vi- all there's exult behind the vial um, target there because you know that uh, Dasher wants to shunt him back. That's that's the way that yeah. the combo should work. So for me, that's a missed skill shot from from Marble, and that should have been Junja dead. Yeah. yeah. And then Vista tries to finish it up, and once again, there's yeah. just enough conquer the conqueror stack. You don't win that. Mm. Arj is here, so it's easy enough. Ray Seeker lands. Marble dies to the ult. Yeah. Right, giving six grubs as well. Jesus, man, PSG look good. They you got know. that last game as well. PSG yeah. look really good. Yeah, they do. Only I wanted the miracle for the Hawks, and it's still possible. We might have but to be. We like might have to be reverse sweep to get this point. Yeah, it might, it, that's all oh. it is for. It's for the real juicy reverse sweep angle. I take my whiskey new. Vista finally has six. But yeah, I, I, again, I have to call it out. Dash is on Talia. We have not seen him use his ultimate once yet. We see Maple. Oh dear. They, 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 I mean, 
where's the where, uh, forest and Vistra are miles behind? It's just a dead. TF. Yeah, and you can't protect the map now. You can't protect the map. It's very, very hard. I mean, oh, yes, for, no, for, no, no, Forest is here, but it, they just don't have the stats, I don't think. I just don't think they have the stats. Again, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just really hard to play when you've got the Karma's here now as well. Obviously, Karma wasn't here in the early part of the play. Too many stats. Too many stats. In another stats. game, Forest yeah. would be there in the right time. You just don't have the stats. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, <clears throat> I don't even the dislike the combo from Hawks. I like like the team comp, it's just the early the early game in both games now has just been a little off from Hawks. And yep. PSG have not missed a beat. Um, and honestly, at this level of play, you, you don't get to make mistakes like that. God damn, that's a, that's a very steep incline there. I mean, it's what, it's 5,000 odd gold now? That's a big lead of 14 minutes, yeah. man. JDG had a good fight in LPL. Flandre is good. Oh, Flandre is starting versus Top Esports as well, by the way. He restarted the other series. Yeah, yeah. Again, he, he's been starting in playoffs. It's not been sheer. And Flandre has been fucking mental, actually. Guy's yes, been insane. Oh, Forest, buddy, pal. But what can friends. he do? He's trying to get himself some gold from somewhere. And he was hoping that maybe he can get himself a free camp. But it's just obviously insult to injury at this point. You've won early game with a... And also, you have one early game with a smaller comp. So. Yeah, yeah. And starts a disaster to begin with, yeah. Close, man. Oh, you got did, not, did a fun Nico fake out. Nice, nice. It's looking as they say, chat, a bit doomed for the Hawks at this point. Hmm. I'm sad, Sam. I wanted to see LGL and MSI. It might yeah, not be me very likely. Too, but the coordination's not been there. And actually, to be fair, Junja and Woody have been all yeah. over the place. As has made. They have. I feel Forest and Vistra have been a bit slow. And, and, and like, I really, I really want to make this clear. I'm going to be sad today. I'm going to be, you know, emoing out a little bit. But I'm actually very happy that Hawks got here in the first place. The yeah. fact that we have an LGL team in PCS finals, like, I don't, I didn't predict that in spring at least. I thought they would take them a yeah. while to potentially level up against this kind of competition as well. Um, yeah. Oh man, and Arja. Arja's been great so far. He's actually been great. Yeah. I think that Arja's first game on the Rumble was absolutely nuts. I think this game, he's completely yeah. monstered Ebi, despite the fact that Ebi has been really, really good on, on the TF as well before the playoffs. The fact that it's not even DFM here, absolutely, yeah, true. Um, 07 in chat for Ebi, well, I mean, 05, but like it's 07s for the salute. I mean, like, well, what do you do? Like, the uh, guy's been attacked so many times at this point. It's like... Oof, that would have actually killed, you know? That would have actually killed. That's really scary. Yeah, yeah, it would. Maple is a very good player, folks. I know that it's kind of hard, like... I know that people remember him for the freaking, you know, TSM stint or whatever. Maple is a very good yeah. player. He has run... He was okay on TSM. Mm. It sort of was the really bad one. Forest? Yeah, I don't know how he oh, got Hawks there. Oh, Hawks from behind, man. Well, they have had so Yeah, Ebby's eyebrows are... They're not even just going to get they shaved at this point. Ebby's eyebrows yeah. are getting, like... They're getting waxed. <laughs> the, 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 they're coming off. They're never growing... He might never have eyebrows. Nobody's again, improved guys. after going to TSM. You could argue that Broken Blade did. You can argue that Broken Blade did. That's true. Um, anyone else? Fair shout. I argue that Turtle... Um, that, that Double Lift did in Season 6 when he went there. Yeah. Um, Broken Blade improved after TSM. Wasn't he on Shark? Was he on Shark before he went to TSM, or did he go to TSM first and then came back? Um, you could argue that Doublelift did like improve from season five to six, seven, because he was really good in those years. Um, <clears throat> yes, no, fair, fair. <laughs> TSM and Shark yeah, did right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, actually no, Bjorkson actually did improve. Yeah, absolutely. But then again, that was very early into his career, so like, is that yeah, I know false exactly, it's positives a bit of a or whatever? That. Yeah. <clears throat> Never mind, bro. I'm just going, just giving up. All right. Uh, yeah. This is so the combo. Look, damage, look, look, look how little damage you have. You. Can, oh man, the double shove gets one. Here comes the smolder though. Smolder also has two items now as well. Yeah. Get the one. Oh. Very good flash. Great flash, Betty. Can't quite make it work with the zigs either. You don't have the consistent DPS. Imagine if this was a more either. even game. That's what the comp is supposed to do. Yeah. But they're doing it's too late. Uh, too late. 
Like, you can even see from the damage numbers, right? Like, that's mm. okay damage numbers, but Shinzo just did 3k damage. Okay, what's Losing his mind, it's just, it's just so, it's yeah. so satisfying. Oh, uh, I'm sad, Sam. Sam, PSG almost Not have a killer minute. Are this game. They have oh. 17 kills in 19 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, not. Top JDG not is actually a banger right now. You're right, but yeah. That, that's good. I'm glad that one of these series. <laughs> Hansa did too. Oh yeah, Hansa actually did get much better on going to TSM. Actually, that's um, true. Hansa, uh, he was okay. On, he was pretty good on gravity, but I think people. I mean, but he was a level TSM. above. Hansa was really good, actually. I'm going to put a brick in my washing machine. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? Thoughts? What do you mean thoughts? There are no thoughts there. God damn. And again, this is the problem with trying to pick oh. off a Shinso. I love Shinso into these kind of compositions because, like. You just you just pop your ult and most of your combo disappears. It looked funny. I saw a Twitter video. I'm sure it's very funny when you flooded your house because the you bricks have a washing busted machine your you can washing machine. To lose? I bought a cinder block at an Asda parking lot. Hey, mate, what what is going on in chat? <laughs> is this the levels that we have to sync to to avoid the gameplay, which is traumatizing me on screen? Oh man, Hawks. Hansa, Hansa, like, oscillates between decently good and not that amazing. It's weird. I don't think you ever reached the point of being great, though. Um, for NA at the time, in Season 5, uh, Season 6, when he... Wait, hang on, was it Season 5 where he went to TSM? Uh, was it Season 6? When was Season 6? Ah, uh, okay. I think this is... Oh, that's okay. We'll take that pick, maybe. Oh, he, he has gets all, out. Yeah. Oh, my God. Never I have to say, coming. having the Never triple numbers. globals from PSG make it... Ooh, not a bad combo, though. He's gonna, he's gonna mute himself Oh, here. the Karma Shield! Jensen! Okay, Jinsau's here. Uh, Smolder's taking mid lane all the while, by the way. Smolder's Jensen. taking mid lane all the while, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. PSG are playing around triple globals really well, and it upsets me because they're beating them really well. Hooray! <laughs> uh, 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 we got a, we got a second kill. Yay! Oh, we have gotten the kill. We bring home a second kill for the LJL. Oh my god, this is Losing so... Losing all the marbles. Oh, Woody survives, yeah. Just got, it's just too tanky. I actually wonder die. whether Hawks should have gone for a um, a severe comp out of this game. I think that might have been quite good to scale up alongside Ada carries, allow Maple, uh, allow Marble to like have late game impact like that. Guys, Maple is going to MSI again. The first 100% confirmed officially retired player. To oh my God, that's actually the tweet. I can't believe that Maple's oh. Ma Ma Maple's going to MSI after retire after being a retired player. Is that too on the nose? Uh, that is actually a bag of tweet. That's a bag of fucking tweet. <laughs> Wait, we saw a vein top from it, um, from T1. Let's go. I didn't see that. Actually. I only caught the last game mm. and a half. So, I mean, real estate to you. Go check out. Let's go check out the post thread. That this game is, is so over, guys. It is 15,000 gold ahead of 23 minutes. Sivir is okay too, but I'd still rather have seen Jinx. I mean, yeah, Jinx would have been good as well. I feel like Sivir allows you to play around the TF and the Talia really effectively too, though. Because, like, I think in this, I think that Hawks need, like, team enabling picks too, to, an, to a sense. I think on the whole, LGL is a, is a, is a region that does very well when, like, picks amplify each other rather than like it's a main character pick. 
There aren't that many players in the L in the LJL which like amplify like play like the main carry picks like as like as well as you need to to win PCS. You get what I mean? Oh boy. I mean, the problem is that now the Hawks are this far behind as well. Like, it's like, well, this comp just doesn't work from behind. We've told no. Bo before, but you can just see it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, on, and, and PSG's yeah, early game is really good. People get down to half HP, survive. But the... They heal their way back up. Hey, Andrew. You never gained a betty. Why are Ebby's eyebrows in danger? What will happen to them? He... So... He grew a beard, and he said the first time that he played, like, the first time I was like, when I lose, I'll shave my beard. And then he's like, he lost. When is the loser bracket? He said, the next time I lose, I'm gonna shave my eyebrows. So... Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, Ukami, thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Or Kami. <clears throat> the full, I mean, it's Ebby. He's, he is, he's, he is just that guy. And now we're gonna have, like, f five, five, five men, one, t one dream, one dream, eight eyebrows. I uh, eight eyebrows, exactly. <laughs> Oh god! Just, just get that additional minus one that Genji can never quite manage. Yeah. Okay, top JDG has actually slowed down a bit. I have to say, top JDG even in regular season was a banger. How's it looking here? Really even. JDG slightly ahead. And you've got you have ruler on Zeri. I mean, I don't want to watch what's happening. Close your eyes. <laughs> Wake me up when I'm it's over. I'm watching this crying on the inside. <laughs> oh. Oh god. That's, that's really something, huh? ですね。え。ところ<笑><笑> I'm sad, Sam. Yeah. 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 Oh, boy. Apparently, JJ is back in action for EDG, so he'll be playing in, in summer. Okay, he's fine. I, I don't even know what to say with that, you know? I don't even know what to say, folks. I'm so Do you think that Hawks will be able to fix their drafts for Game 3? Um, for Game 3, yes, for a whole series, that's a much harder question. Um, because for me, actually, I don't mind the drafts. I mind the early game play more. I think that right now, PSG have a massive advantage on, on Hawks how, on how they're playing out the early game. Um, in that kind of composition, you know, you blew the flash early on Maple, but then when you lose in the 3v3 top side, even though you blew a flash early, um, I don't think that's great. They were so close to winning out in that top side 3v3 as well, but Arja just monstered them. Ar Arja's yeah, been incredible. Ar Arja's been incredible, be actually. So, um, the one top player that Evie has not been consistently better than in this tournament so far. Yeah. Also, again, Dasha was invisible on the Tilly. And yes, part of that is Karma getting two kills early, having having flash blown, so just was got lost chapter earlier, was shoving it okay. earlier. Right, I'm gonna go quickly switch over to um, LPL. I'm gonna quickly switch over to it, and then we'll go back to this. Different. <clears throat> Okay, what do we got? And I'll go back, obviously. Obviously, we're going to keep finishing our PCS, but <laughs> there might only be one more game, folks. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> okay, so, I mean, it's a really good Poke Varus angle for Jackula, thinking about it. Like, Poke Varus has no one he cares about here, in terms of, like, actual tanks. It's so even, it's ridiculous. No more than a 500 gold lead, and that was mostly from first blood, yeah. I mean, this is what happened in regular season game one between these two teams as well. It slowed the fuck down until it's one explosive fight. Top Esports actually won that game, too. Then JDG came back and won, um... LPL is... Th uh, wait, what? LPL is the wife you like. 
and the L gel is your first love that got away. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What what wow. kind of analogy is that? What do you mean? <laughs> Yeah, that's it. What is that? Okay. I must go back to, I must go back to Osaka to find... Oh, it's actually Roppongi's where the LGL studios are. Yeah. Okay, 369. It's on to Kanavi, though. No hook. No hook. I have to say, though, also, one thing which we have to watch out for in this kind of game is that, you know, Yagao... Playoffs Yagao is a thing. Playoffs Yagao is very much a thing, actually. And Playoffs Yagao's got hands, folks. This is fucking close, actually. Oh, they get the yeah, they get the Viego reset. Okay, so you can't play again now. So they catch up Flandre. No, what? <laughs> Why are you saying no holes? <laughs> Oh, no hooks. Blocks it. Blocks your Nautilus Q with a with a Nico clone. No hooks. Actually, did hit him there. You know, but hey. <clears throat> so, the way you write that with every O being like the umlaut reminds me of like the fucking the the the, the fascism dialogue tree in um in Disco Elysium. So funny because they just replace every letter with like the umlaut version and speak and they speak funny words. <laughs> if you've ever not, if you've ever played Disco Elysium, you'll get what I'm talking about. It's fucking great. That game is just so unserious and serious at the same time. It's a fantastic game, actually. One of my favorites. One of the best written games I've ever seen. For me, it's just that meme with the cat in the loops. Brother, give me the loops. Brother. I must eat the loops. It is a lot to read. Yes, it is, but it's voice acted so you can listen to it. So it's really, really cool. Which one's this specifically? Disco Elysium. Uh, yeah, so Disco Elysium used to be um, unvoiced, or at least large portion. Particularly, there was no narrator. <laughs> now, the Ultimate Edition came with the most incredible voice actor from South London, who is this kind of like rapper, who'd never really done a lot of voice acting before, but this is kind of like real Brixton guy with a wonderful cadence and rhythm to the words he's speaking. It's not necessarily what you'd expect. <clears throat> and it means that all those kind of individual voices and parts of your psyche that Disco Elysium really talks about, you know, your, 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 your esprit de corps, the bit <sighs> of you that is really this, attached man. to the, the police force, that bit of you that believes in the supernatural, that bit that's all about logic, all have different inflections from this one person, yeah. kind of like feeding you all this information. It's phenomenal. So even if it is a lot of reading, it's all voice. So just take it slow. Yeah. Play it with a great time. If you don't want to play it as well, Ooh, there are some phenomenal play. playthroughs of this game. It is a wonderful game. Yeah, I watched play, uh, I watched Co Carnage's playthrough and it was yeah, awesome. it was a great really play. awesome actually. That's the one I really go back to. Too. Yeah. Score it's two zero to PSG right now, and frankly, in pretty dominating fashion. It's been two. It's not been pretty close. convincing games. The early them. games from PSG yeah, have been, not been, been it monstrous. It. Yeah. Game one was effectively yeah. like. Hawks trying to all in on a dragon fight where they were still in the game and got massively blown out. Game two, they just lost from the early game. They just lost from the early game, so. Yeah. Oh, uh, Hawks, please! Fighting! Okay, we've got like another 10 minutes before we get into game of uh, game three from PSG, um, for, for PCS, so we'll, we'll keep watching this for a while. In fact, we actually might even get to the end of the game in this game one here. That would be perfect timing. We get to watch the end of this game and then go into P uh, PCS. <clears throat> so one of my favorite things is, um, it's like, I, I really do like good voice acting in games, which is kind of like, effectively, so we, we've been, um, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Fed? Hydra, I can do All right, Alex. Yes? I need you to join me briefly. For what? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna manifest the reverse sweep. So I need you to close your eyes. Okay. Your eyes closed. Um, they're closed. They're closed. Close your eyes. Close. They're closed. They're closed. They're closed. So chat, chat, close your eyes. I can't see what you're doing right now. So I need you to close your eyes. Maybe we'll type trust blind. You. Okay. Yeah, trust you, chat. Right. Um, picture the soaring towers, Rapongi. Picture the LJL studio. You don't have to know what it looks like. Just picture the LJL studio. Right. Whatever you. Th have as a picture of that. And in that studio, 
There are empty chairs. The players are no longer there because they're all the way over in Taiwan. But just imagine the scenes those gaming chairs have seen. The, the incredible gaming backsides have sat down on those chairs to, to compete at the highest end of Japanese League. And right now, soaring over them in a beautiful scene of it all is the hall. What a wonderful bird it is. Very clearly native <laughs> to the cityscape of Tokyo. This hawk Can is I diving down. Yet? It's lost its wings. It's lost feathers. It's looking a bit bedraggled. But then, from near this huge skyscraper <laughs> building, which the LGL about. studios are clearly in in Rapongi, an updraft comes along, Alex. <laughs> and a soaring return to the skies, reaching for the clouds in which spelled... In need, that um... strato cumulo nimbus clouds up there is the letters M S I, and they keep soaring to a glorious reverse sweep. Open your eyes, chat. Wonderful. I believe the reverse sweep is about. To <laughs> what the fuck is he yapping about? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sam. During the draft, we're gonna have to charge a spirit bomb. That's it. We'll have to do that. That's it. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Okay, folks, you get, you, you're going to have to charge the spirit bomb with us in the draft, the next draft. Let's get it. All right, I need to like, run some abs, actually, before the... Um, oh, that's a point. Before the next um, game. So I'll run some abs, and I'll come back with, with drinks, because I can put some Oh, shit, that's a good point. Again, just Viego resets are so powerful, man. Yeah, Viego resets. Ari Viego is such a strong combo. Uh, Rula, he's really trying. Uh, uh. Oh, you gotta do it. You can't make us. I think the fuck I can. <laughs> I will return. I will return. Okay, how long have we got on um, PCS? A few minutes. Still four minutes though. <clears throat> this should be the this should be the death knell of that game actually. Like, honestly, top esports, I don't think you can ever give a good angle for a, a Lethality Varus to Jackie of all people. I think if Jackie, I think if Poke Varus is in a game with zero tanks, I pretty much in the LPL, Poke Varus wins you the game. I, I actually, thinking about it, I don't think I've seen a game where a Poke Varus against zero tanks has, has lost a game within recent memory. Hyper member, how's it going? No one else can run forward. All of Jace is eating. And guess what? That last fight, it was over Dragon. Dragon didn't get taken, so we're right back to it. <laughs> wait, blocking that reverse sweep manifest. Ooh, okay, wait. That's a good ult from Yagao. It's just not enough, is it? I mean, rule is dead. If rule is dead, how do you play this? Oh, 369 is an absolute monster. Still, it's 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 just all Dracula. Again, it's just Poke. Um, oh my God, Poke Varus against no tanks is just so broken. Has been a while. Yeah, I I I didn't stream much this week. I've been um, doing a lot of LPL playoffs. Actually, folks, I'm flying out to Ireland to do the next stage of LPL playoffs after this. Actually. Oh no, when the carry is carrying, I know, right? Oh, man. Well, top esports show they have hands. When's the finals for this? Um, 20th. The, the finals are on the 20th. Um, but we've got another three games before that. So we have this one now. Then we have three games. We have. Uh, winner's bracket, loser's bracket, and then, um, finals. <clears throat> so you have winner's bracket, two loser's brackets, and then finals. What do I think about the Diana pick by the Showmaker? I haven't seen the Showmaker one, but I've seen, um, I mean, Diana mid with, with Lich Bane first is actually a very powerful pick. It can work really well on stuff like Ari. You can actually one-shot Ari very, very well. Like, you can punish Ari pretty effectively. Holy moly. Oh my god, 369. What? 
we went from a dead even game to about a 3k lead for top esports to now they have ballooned that to over 6,000 <coughs> gold and it just strikes that quickly when you're at the tippy top they look better in the orange Hawaiian shirt I was saying it this whole time <laughs> they, they do. I don't understand how Caster and Sword Art lost yesterday because Gory also got caught out massively You just can't keep 369 down, it seems. Yeah, 369 is a very, very consistent player from regardless of the state it is in the game. He is basically untiltable, always has huge impact. You have mega gaps? Yeah, damn. I mean, that's credit to Hawks as well. I mean, Hawks don't look good today because PSG have a really good early game read on them, but, um... You know, on the whole, I, I, really, I am really happy that um, Hawks have made it this far. Okay, we need to switch back to PCS soon. We'll we'll get to the end of this game hopefully. Well, we'll see how long it stalls out for, but hopefully we'll get ourselves to the end of this game and then we'll um get in towards um, PCS again. By the way, by the way, if Azir outscales Corky, then why do pros keep picking him into Azir? It's not necessarily a question about outscale. It's more about Corky outranges Azir, so you can just play around longer range poke than Azir can deal with. Also, Azir typically doesn't deal with well with poke because he doesn't have any sustain. Um, so if you outrange Azir, you can you can force him into very bad positions. So stuff like yeah. Zerath has also been very good into into Azir in the past. When we used to see like yes. <laughs> Zerath Zaya compositions where you're playing double backline kind of disengage comps, if you just pick Corky or Zerath and stuff like that, then it's it's really hard for them to play because you hit like one or two skill shots, and um, then they're basically no HP and they can't fight. <clears throat> okay. So if you like if you want some historical stuff on this, um, I urge you to go look at say Kuro back in season six because he was always one who was a bit of an innovator in mid lane. We? Used to play Varus mid. So uh, Varus. We have. One of the reasons was. Okay, we have kill three six nine. Sam's doing PCS. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm doing PCS on here too. It's just this is happening during the break. Mm. Just come off break. So what's happening in LPL right now? Um, Curious. late game top esports JDG top esports have the advantage. Jackie Love is a monster on poke Varus against zero tank composition. Yep. I don't think you can ever give a poke Varus over to his, uh, against a zero tank composition. Like it's it's actually unplayable. Like I so actually, I was saying this before. I feel like I actually don't think that I've seen a poke Varus lose a a game with like um, no frontline in it before. Like not in recent history. I think part, at least not in recent weeks. But I still think we're, because we've hit playoffs, anybody that at this stage getting oh, that you're kind of option, just more than good enough to like execute. Like, who, sorry, who did you say was piloting at this time around? I did, Jackie I Love. Missed, Jackie Love. Jack. So top esports, what I mean, they did game just, two? huh? Game one, game one. <clears throat> Remember, game it starts say it starts an hour later than PCS. So sorry, I thought I thought, I thought game one had already finished. Nope. We are thirty five minutes into game one. No. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Draft. Is it? Yep. Okay. So. Uh, Okay, I, I'm going back to PCS. Right. PCS is time. what I'm here for right now, and we'll we'll, we'll get back to some um, conflicts. Oh. We got Karma, we got Karma, Shin Zaban, Varus Battle on the other side. All those make some sense. Are they going to ban the Ari again, or are they going to first should. pick it? What's that? Dash is an okay Ari. You better look at the ban the Nautilus. Yeah, Fair Dash enough. is a very good Ari. You can actually first pick it. Yeah. yeah. Reverse sweep angle. We've already manifested it, guys. We know it's happening. Yeah, the shit. Yeah, <laughs> charging the spirit bomb. I mean, I'm hot. No, that's Sam. That's not the spirit bomb. What the fuck are you talking about? I thought Kamehameha Heart was a first. No, it is not the spirit bomb. Or oh, spirit bomb is a rather an event. It's been what, it Sam? Been slow down. One word a second, please. A <laughs> it's been well over a decade since I last watched Dragon Ball. Yeah, well, you should know your fucking lore. I have. The last Dragon Ball thing I did was I was taught by Vegeta in in VR how to do a Kamehameha. And that is not the spirit uh, bomb. The, spir the, Kame the Kamehameha is, the, is, the, is, is, the, is like the energy beam thing. That's like, that spirit bomb's not that. Okay, so PSG separating the Ari from the Ari from the Vi, which is fine. You can go towards the Talia now on the side. You can go to Talia. 
Um, or Nico for Maple. Yeah, either of them cool. are fine. Maple's a great Talir. Um, so either of them is fine. So they go for, towards the Talir. There you go. I think, no well, you don't have the Shinsa for... Did you do the Shinsa yourself in Forest? It's, you, no, you don't have that because it was banned. It's the first ban. No, it's not. Oh, no, it was, it was their first what ban. The what the fuck talking are you about? talking right. about? Yeah, no, I don't... Yeah, you're absolutely right. I was genuinely looking over PSG's spells and I thought, oh, it's a common lord. This is no shit. <laughs> It's not a good start. Lee I Sin don't make actually okay, like. Lee Sin. Why does the Lee Sin make sense? I actually don't think it does. Because um, Forest is super comfortable on it and it's a good combo. Well, with so yes, I agree with that. But you're into the Talia and the Vi is pretty good versus Lee Sin too. So I don't, I don't like it personally. I don't like I don't Lee Sin like versus Vi is okay. Lee Sin versus Talia is not as good. I grant you. lose, you lose the two v two pretty hard here actually versus the Vi Talia in a lot of ways. Um, like I don't think it's Makes awful, sense. but I, I, I think Forest. This is just forest comfort that's i don't think it makes sense for the draft it makes sense for the players um i mean there yeah. aren't that many other early skirmishing ad junglers available at that point you could go um you can go poppy into Poly the vibe bear, maybe you can go poppy What's into the vibe you can go poppy into poppy, the vibe guess, you can also yeah. go for i mean wukong's not bad either um volley Wukong, bear's not bad a little late, like, I, I would say volley bear's the only other like level three spike yeah, yeah. But I mean, Poppy is. What? Alright, Rex, that ban makes sense. Is this just a TF ban then? Yeah. <clears throat> 369 won the game? Okay, cool. And uh, Lucian ban, fair enough. Do you just ban Zeri here as well? That is, in fact, what um, the Japanese casters are saying, actually. Yeah. What I would do, I think. Okay, okay. Right. Interesting. I mean, Betty is a big Caitlyn player. They're kind of happy to match the scale. Betty is a historical Caitlyn player, actually. He's a very used to play, good Caitlyn player. Used to play player. that on yeah, Flash Wolves. Like used to play that on Flash Wolves. Big time, yeah. That was one of his picks there. I remember that from, from years ago, yeah. I mean, you're probably yeah, giving yeah. up... Um, Zeri, then, is pretty much a guarantee. Zeri, but then I think that Hawks should take Rakan away from the Zeri Rakan. It's a really nasty duo, that, actually. Good in lane, just very, very good skirmishing. But then you have to play the Rakan into the Vital which isn't awesome. Um, it might be still good to use it as a takeaway, though. You need another form. Of, you need. You do need a big form of engage. I think you need the Rakan. Thinking about it, the Rek'Sai's gone. Maokai would work. Yeah. Yeah, I don't hate that. I mean, I guess it's a takeaway from Woody picking it alongside the Rumble as well. They have a huge CC combo, but. No, I mean, Hawks are going to be losing laning phase. It's not going to. It'll be a graceful loss, but they're losing bot lane lane. Probably. Is it just Cassante angle? I didn't like the. I didn't really yeah. like it the first well, game. Well, I mean, around. it's a losing lane is the thing. So now you have winning yeah, lane know. mid, but other lanes are not looking great in terms of priority. Yeah, and that was that's not been good because Junja and Maple have made a lot of value out of losing. Lane. Yeah. Not a fan of Maokai. I mean, the Maokai is good if you survive. I mean, you have options, right? You can Nico. You can Rakan. I think both of them are fine in terms of winning laning phase and then also having engaged threat yeah. later. You can take um, the Alistair and just match scaling. Alistair again is like... Well, that's less about scaling, that's more about being frontline for the Marco. You, you you tank it and then you cleanse it. Yeah, it's kind of what I mean is that you... That you sorry. That's By not, that I mean you, just, yeah. you don't necessarily look to smash the lane. This is the ever nebulous okay, term of scaling. In lane. what sense? Why do they scale? What happens with it? Like, I feel like scaling is kind of like that, um, it's kind of like a shortcut term to just say that later on it is easier to play or, like, disable something which the enemy team does or, like, does more damage or outranges. Exactly. There's, like, I mean, exactly. it's but it can be any one of, like, a dozen different ways, which I find actually, it's like, yeah. Like, it's a term which I think is actually... I basically what you were saying, but that's fine. Huh? Doesn't matter. It's fine. You're saying that's basically what you were saying, but I'm just saying that I feel like it's no... I, this is a larger conversation about it, I just think it being an oversimplification of a term. I think it's used quite a lot in a, um oversimplified way. Which I think is actually a completely fair statement. It's, it's been... It's one of those things which has worked its way into the community. For good reason. For good reason. But it's just... um Sometimes it needs a little more. Because... Yeah, I mean, on the whole... I mean, you can have outscaling supports, you can, particularly with something yeah, like Alice. Yeah, but, but I, 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 I do think Alice is one of the hardest scaling supports in the game. But, but partly because Triumph, partly because just how bloody valuable it's not. Um, because I think Triumph, Triumph scaling is ridiculous in the game. Um, and his ultimate is just so, so good at later stages of the game. 
I level 60 now. Well, thanks for the follow. Um, I mean, yes, but you never get to level 60 in all in the supports. Not in pro. Very rarely. You never get to. That's goes. Thank you so much. Crazy, I was crazy once. I uh, no, crazy. I was cut. Wait, Kazi, I was Kazi once. I played on Mad with Brazda, Marek Brazda, and Marek Brazda made me Kazi. That's very cool, Ghost. <laughs> Is this the new fan fiction angle? That was that was something that was yeah that that was around a while ago. That was around a while. I remember that actually. Um, you know, actually, I tell you, I tell you the best, the, the best scaling supports are actually like Soraka and Tarek and stuff like that, actually. I was going to say, Tarek is the one I go Kami, thank you so Tarek much for the scale. prime. Thank you everyone for the support today, by the way, folks, it really means a lot. And, uh, of course, like go, go follow Sam as well, and, and drop stuff in his channel. Do I, it. yeah. Get in here. Follow me. Follow Alex too, he's in my title. Yeah. Am I in your title? Uh, no, I'd forgotten about that. Oopsies, I should do that. Hang on. I'm going to go put, um, pure wow. on. Very rude. You think it's gonna be an easy 3 0? -oh? Yeah, I feel um, that way, I'm not gonna lie. I need to see something more out of Hawks in the early game, because the problem is once they fall behind, Hawks yeah. are not good from behind versus PSG. Who are is very Shen, good from ahead. Is Shen it's a bad considered mix. a scaler? Shen is a get very situational on the combos that he's in. Um, so Shen, very, very good at scaling if someone is playing to dive onto a single target. Not very good if people outrange, because Shen has basically no way to deal with them. Um, and not very good against, like, siege comps and stuff either. And Shen's really fallen out of meta a lot as well, because it feels like you don't get as much value out of the ultimate as you used to, and your laning phase just isn't as good. And also your like, items are just, like, not as good either. Thanks for following, Muslim. My sister was bitten by a moose once. <laughs> Were they? The person in charge of writing the subtitles has been fired. The person in charge of the people uh, uh, the ch of people firing people for, for the subtitles has now also now been fired. Wait, why is my pre-roll gone off again? Oh, yeah. Okay, ads might get a bit weird for a second, folks, but yeah. Did you not run them? Um, no, because I was watching LPL and then I forgot to run them um, after that. Whatever, it's fine. There's a lot of runes. They are, there are a number of runes per champion, so I hear. I don't play League at all, I only watch and coach it. I mean, I understand that. I, I don't play as much as I used to, um, at all. Hmm. One of my favorite places to visit when I was in Japan is this one stage in Kamioka. Uh, we had like three O's in a row. Kamioka, yeah. So it's Kamio and then oh, as in with the with the extension on it. So yeah. it's Kamio Oka. But just say, every time you came to the station, Kamio Oka Eki. It's just That's great. fabulous. Wonderful. Kamio Oka. <laughs> great station to visit. South edge of Yokohama. Okay. See that maple is again just doing really well in early lane Big as well. Best. Yeah. So typically Ari should be beating Talia at level one with electrocute trade with W. Um, so it's kind of not great that Dasher is. Falling behind like that. Uh, yeah, it feels like Dash has been playing quite reserved, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't think he was trying to on the Annie. I just don't think he was very effective. And then in the second game, yeah. Um, second game, maybe could have expected more. It's an angle here. Hasn't leveled Charm. Got level three in the midway through that trade, so. So they get the flash, must be okay with that. No, he'll have to find the jump, he's got Rampa. But I can probably think about starting up blue. It needs to be a bit... Junja could really hurt for us here. Does he have another ward? No, he does and he's dead. Hey, he flashes over. He's not dead. Nah, he never dies there. He just blows flash. It's different. Why did you think he was dead, actually? Did, what, did you think there was someone else coming? Uh, because I wasn't sure whether Junja would follow with the power with the passive auto dancing players. Mm. Doesn't have red buff. Ah, it didn't have red buff though. It did, it did rap to red buff doesn't, he had red as well. Red doesn't, doesn't change that, I don't think. I think it's literally just he flashes I thought, I thought over dancing and, blows three plus red buff might do it. Not at that level. Go survive, work, ghost. But legends never die. They do. They they do sometimes become a part of you, though. You know, I've heard that. I've. That's what the streets are saying, anyway. That's what the streets are saying. You know. Streets have said. The streets have told me this. Yeah. 
Okay, once again though, Junja. Oh, at least it's gonna go invade the red Lamau. So yeah, no, no, like, well, no, no, that's that? not a good thing because right now you don't have Aryan lane. Junja's spotted is a level up as well. This could be a pretty dangerous TV2. Ah, I missed the key. So, again, folks, a uh, reminder about uh, Junja. So, Junja was on the EDG World's Winning roster in 2021. Um, was like a solo queue monster um, player as well. Ebi is in a bit of trouble here. He actually might just die. Yeah. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Ebi's just not been playing. And he's picked his Cassante into the rubble. Rumble. Uh, Don't know about this one, folks. Oh, Hawks. And the early game is falling apart again. Crap, early game again. They haven't looked at their best today. They haven't looked at their best nope. today. Um, and that's sad. You know, I think PSG have had a much better read on the early game. Pause, what are we pausing for? Hmm. But even there, I wonder if I, whether Abby could have walked into Top River. What happened here? Over here. Very low on what happens there, here? So we got a pause. Ah, uh, and he didn't grab minion aggro because he's just using his flame spitter. He only gets minion aggro there. Azure plays that really well. Because if he auto attacks earlier, then I'm pretty sure that Q doesn't hit. Yeah, I man. So I don't see what the pause would be for. Okay. I don't either. Currently. I mean, Forest just ends up like I don't think you should ever W in there. I think you should maybe try and W over the back nice. with um, with Marble. I think that's a I think that's a big mistake actually. So what's the pause for technical pause? It's Arsha that's maybe there's some it. hardware issue or something. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, Arsha's. Yeah. Look at those beautiful eyebrows. It's the last we're seeing of them, guys. Back into game. Okay, we're back in. Okay, that was fast. Well, Dash has just taken a lot of bad trades back to back against Maple as well. So, yeah, it's not great. I don't know. Hawks just have been really off. I mean, don't get me wrong. PSG have been able to like watch a lot of Hawks tape. And also, Hawks were playing yesterday as well. Yeah. I think it, it was always going to be a hard run, but this is a little bit sad, especially considering mm. we have seen the match PSG before. Yeah. And it came down to Hawks misplaying late game in a game five, you know? Um, and Maple also playing some really sick Nico Yeah. In game five. Like, it was really good for I, I think that Ebby being off form has really hurt Hawks as well, because typically yeah. he could clutch out some difficult games too. Yep, yeah, agreed. And I, I think this is this is the worst series I've seen series. from yeah this is the worst series I've seen from Ebby in a while, which is such a shame because it's the most uh, important This playoffs in particular, he's been very good this playoffs. It's just, this series has been. This series hasn't what? I was saying he's been very good this playoffs. This series he just hasn't. Been. Okay, right. Hmm. Did Junjo go to go to internationals with PSG before? Actually, I think he did, didn't he? Uh, I don't think so. But who knows? Who knows? Well, I tell you what, I, I should know. Actually, is the hmm. yeah, last year. What do you mean? Yeah, I think it's last year, wasn't it? Yeah, MSI and Worlds last year, Sam. So, um, Junjo won with. Yep, so it was. Yeah, Worlds 23 and MSI 23. Another early game, another load of objectives going towards PSG. Well, yeah, everything really. I think. Um, Lanes on the whole have been really good from PSG. I think the early skirmishes mm -hmm. have been much better. Um, Junja's just been everywhere as well. Yeah. And this is like, 
I have to say, as soon as you hit level 3, I don't love Lee Sin into Vi. I think that Vi actually skirmish was a lot better. And we saw that pretty much immediately into the game. Um, which is why I was like, I know it's a forest comfort pick. I just wonder if, for just for the sake of the draft, it would have been better to go towards a more facilitating pick that can also stop the Vi. I don't know Vi. whether Lee Sin into Vi isn't that bad. Is it really that bad? I mean, it's more like the Vi. Uh, no, it's the Vitalia. Really it's the Vitalia. Vitalia, right? Because, like, into the Vi itself, once you I mean, get towards really level 3, level 4, uh, the Vi is just better than mm, pretty much everything but Shinsau, really, at level level 4 anyway. Jax as well. Actually, would Jax have been okay in this game? Nah, would have been great, actually. You can't really play it into it. would have been okay in a Vi. Everything else is a bit more interesting. No, it's, it's just a bad pick in this game. Um, so, um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm just... I, I think that the Lee Sin is just too easy to punish in a lot of ways. Ah, I have to pull out the ghost because the W hits. It sucks. At least it's not the longest cooldown. Still kind of sucks to lose it. <sighs> we aren't bullying the Vi early enough. Very true. I'm very true. You have to do level 1s versus yep, Vi. You can, you can punish Vi in jungle very easy. Mm. So you're gonna Don't miss, miss the cannon? It, not minus one. Yeah, let's go. It's better oh, than me. We go to a, better than me. <laughs> yeah. uh, just do me a favor in Alex's chat. Just type oh, in exclamation up. mark cannon. Yeah. Just do it. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, definitely it's don't It's a do fun that. time for those who've not done that. Ooh, missed the cannon. Yep. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does it only happen what? Wait, how? Okay, all right. I don't know whether it has a cool. I guess it has a cooldown on it, but yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Stop typing cannon. I have committed. I've committed you fuckers. issues. You fuckers. Stop typing that shit. Get out of here. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think it does how have a cooldown. How many cannons have you missed, Alex? Uh, 28. Only tw Well, no, I've never missed a cannon. I just have 20, you know, 28 put aside for a later date. It's now canonically true. That's very it's clever. It's the froggy Rika. tech. That the fro yes, you end up giving all of ca all of Froggy's farm randomly ends up like warping through time and Levy, space into, into Levi's Levi's, Levi's Levi's um, farm score. <clears throat> I still have to ca correct myself because I keep going Levy. Um, like, like in my head, I have to actually physically correct myself to Levi. Mm. Why? I, because I. Legitimately, because I spoke Japanese for a couple of years, it just means I just see that and go Rebi in my head. No joke. I and don't the thing is, I know it's wrong, but it's one of those ones where, like, because I know it's wrong, I keep second guessing myself. Which way round do I say? Is it Levi or Levi? Levi or Levi? It's Levi. So I have to keep thinking. Well, about Levi it. is the correct pronunciation. And I still get it wrong. Le Levi is the correct correct pronunciation. It 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 it, it is. Yes. I have checked my posture. I really don't like... Well, I mean, this time you have the Rek'Sai science so the Poke Varus, at least. But Poke Varus is just, like, so disgustingly strong. You're talking about, you're talking about LPL, LPL no Varus, yeah, yeah. but there's, there's no Varus or yeah, yeah. Rek'Sai right now. How dare you confuse me in chat. Oh, boy. Dash, Dash your caught out. Dash caught out. Really good combo from PSG. But this is the problem when you start losing vision against this comp as well. Just like the CC shading is absolutely ridiculous. Abby's on vision. This is looking a bit yeah, doomed, folks. I, I have missed that. Uh, I don't know about that one. Okay. I mean, Abby's going to get something here. Ninja dies. Okay. It's one for one. Uh, they're yeah. going to lose everybody, so I'm just going to burn uh, it's not looking good, folks. What? And Dash is not. Dash is only now here. So it was what? It was a three v four. Uh, four v four. Yes. It's only Marvel because Marvel because Marvel. It was four v four because remember that Dash had died at the start of it. Yes. So technically, it's a four v four. All things said and done. I mean, the fight happened afterwards. It was three v four, right? See what Maple and Aja flashing for the kill on Abby. That's that's the turnaround. They both blew flashes. All over because of that. I'm telling you now. <clears throat> Tell you confusing you and voice comes on chat. Believe, could be confusing you too, Mech. Believe in the that's smolder scaling. Ah. Uh, it's really easy to get onto the um get onto the, the, the onto the smolder though because even just a tag from the equalizer can stop them from auto attacking well, which is a problem. Yeah, and it's also, and we've seen a lot of when we have seen people kind of manage smolder. One of the ways they've done it is with things like Vi and Talir because you that's just not 
if you land one part of the combo, the next part should be guaranteed to land, and Smolder mm -hmm. just gets taken out of a fight really fast. Okay, okay, not bad from Forest, okay. I guess. Can you get the kick? Yeah, I didn't get the quite get the kick oh, back. It's fine. Dear. That's a, it's, they get one, but oh. again, it's really hard to play the like the particularly Ari Lee Sin because like I think the Ari part of it's okay to play into it. I just into this full comp, I just don't love the Lee Sin. Yeah, and once again, Woody's there faster than Vista. Oh, try to steal it. Not bad. Betty's going to jump on Marble. Marble flaps away, but that means can't really go to lane very easily. Ah. Forest from behind is not the same. Ari's bought Seraph? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, I genuinely oh, yeah. thought Maple was, play Maple was playing Ari for a second there. Like, uh, Ari's bought um, Malignant's first. That's fine. Oh yeah, I mean there's there's no dark seal, I grant you that. That is true. Woody's once again in mid lane, Forrest's about to face check and have a horrible time. Dash has no flash, no well, doesn't matter. Okay. はい。think this should just be there's no no realistic beat test. Try, okay. okay. Not a bad mark, I all. Okay, the creek's okay. not bad either. Junja. Junja managed to get out with okay. uh, the ult. Good uh, equalizer, uh, actually. Well, it's not uh, the worst, actually. Aja, Aja. Oh my Arja. word, that yeah. rumble. Yeah, yeah Aja just wrecked him. Yeah, it was a really, really good. Finally get Junja. My days. How did Junja survive that long, man? Because he ulted back into the back out of the fight. Forest is dead. No, I know, I know exactly. I know he ulted out the fight. It was yeah, really yeah. nice. But yeah, I mean, I've, I've, yeah. Is my volume weird for you, man? Because, like, you keep missing me saying things. It's, um, it's just your Discord, your audio quality isn't great and it cuts off the end of certain sentences. I don't know why that is. I don't know why, just your audio Discord settings have always been a bit weird, Sam. I just listened through to it, so it me. I'll check that. No, but even there, it's like, I listened through to it. And, like, it just dropped off at the, the end of that, so. A little bit. It might also just be the way you're speaking as well, because you drop off quite harshly at the end of sentences sometimes. Mm. So. Oh man. No, it's fine on my end. If you say so. Seems to be. Honestly, Ebby does an okay job getting out of that own combo as well. Actually, trading alt for alt there wasn't bad. Ebby played this about as well as you can. It's just. I. I yeah. You can't. Man, I don't know what Dash is last alt there. Mm. Mm. And they get the eye as well, it goes into Arja. Damn. Uh. <laughs> what do you mean? We should have gambled. Whoever loses gets to watch Nightmare's live stream for 10 consecutive weeks. Why is that a losing gamble? What do you mean? Why is that the punishment? What do you mean? <laughs> Well, I hate to tell you this, Alex. <laughs> this it's not an Azure, it timed out. Oh, it timed out. Wait, did he use it in top lane? Wait, he picked that up, right? Did he pick that up? I thought he picked that up. No, he didn't get it. Oh, he didn't get it in time. So PSG don't get themselves held. Right, okay. Okay, gets the kickback. Right, right, kick That's it. But again, every right, time, teleport. every time they try and go for a side lane play, there's a global inbound. PSG's player and teleports has been great. It's been so good. Yeah, like they have responded to every play. Yeah, they've 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 just yeah, they've roamed to every side lane play every, every time. Well, no, they haven't been there first because they. But what they have been is responding so quickly that it doesn't matter. 
It's like if you oh, remember. No, I think they've been there. I think they've, what four members were there straight away. The teleport was immediate. Uh, already there. Well, no, I mean, I mean Forest was there. I think they have For been effectively first every time. Forest was there first in the two v one, and then they turn up later. So that's you know just by logic, not the case. But I mean, then... I I don't know. I I know what you're saying. I just think with the way the map is going, like I still I still feel in my mind. There is something to be saying for the fact that because people were effectively in the area, they're there inverted commas first. Well, I mean, Ebi and Forrest had like a good five seconds in Azure before the, they turned up, so I, I don't think that's fair to say. I actually think just PSG have been oh responding properly. Oh my god, Azure with the TP. Yeah. Again, just the global usage from PSG is just such a They've level They've been above. so good. And also, I think particularly Game 2, Woody and Junger in Game 2 were just absolutely everywhere. Hmm. <sighs> well, this has been a very anticlimactic series. Yeah, game game two, even then, you could tell that, like, even when, like, the TF ult was going into side lanes and stuff, PSG were turning up very, very quickly, because they had triple teleports, because they had it on the, yeah. um, the, on the smolder as well. Arj has gone for the Rift yep, yep. second, so he's just, like, absolute monstering DOT DPS. Man. I, I'm sad. I am sad. I just think that... Yeah, and we've known that we've known that Hulk can play better into... Usually so, usually so, yeah. But they have just been second best by a significant margin mm. this time around. Okay. Okay, I don't know whether this is going to be... There's no globals this time. Yeah, Talia's not here. There's no globals. You've got to go through the... Okay, should be fine. Who's got aggro? Okay. The three-man headbutt? Okay. Yeah. That was actually a really nice headbutt afterwards. And now the problem is that you've spent too much time... Get Every time you're behind in a game, it takes you longer to finish the players you want, which means that it's more likely that yeah, someone can respond. Yeah, you don't have the same You have Flash again. Vial, and you don't have... You don't have Talia. You don't have Talia. Oh, my God, Junja. Just really feeling it, huh? Ooh, all right, Junja. Oh, my word. That's oh, a hard fight. Oh, they're just better. They're just better. Uh, no, I have never read or watched Monster. I've heard it's good, though. That's the one with about the, the brain surgeon, right? With moral concern. Which one's that? Monster. Oh, hang on. Nah, I can't get much more out of it. It looks like a lot of damage because you have the first Sundered Sky Auto, but then after that, your damage actually really falls off. Yeah, Maple. Okay, hi, Maple. But, like, while all of this is happening, we've had, like, a solid minute of Maple pushing out um, mid and bot lane. So, like, so PSG won, every, won on the top side of the map in basically a 4v5. Yep. And then they ended up like pushing the other lanes too. And they still get better map control, and they still win, and they've got better map control. Yeah. I thought you said you had watched uh, already. I, 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 I recommended it to Rich on Euroleague, but I, I haven't watched it myself. No, I've heard it's really good though. So. A wreck off Rex. Hmm. I'm also looking at this now, and I'm going like, okay, marbles at what? 156 stacks. The problem is you've got soul point in or soul in three and a half minutes. It's just not happening. An ocean soul when you're already into, when you're already struggling to kill people off. Pretty miserable. The Rift Maker Rumble as well, so there's actually a surprising amount of sustain in there. Talia and Zeri have got easy ways to proc it. Sunder Sky and Vi, you know. Just lots of sustain, lots of long range people who can proc ocean soul for free. Pretty miserable, I think. Dasher again. Just like, how he's just absent, man. It feels really harsh to say, but. That's Baron. I don't think they're going to try and contest. You're going to try. You're going to forest in the area. He's not on vision. Okay, it's a miracle Baron steal to see if they can get themselves back in the series. Can you get there in time? No, he can't. We get. Oh, I got close. Ah, uh, not quite. Not quite. That was the last gasp, I think. I think that's the last gasp yeah. because now you're going to have Baron buff leading into Ocean's Soul, and I think that should be. That's the death knell. That's the death knell. It's a bit over. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Forrest actually got the Q on target, he got in the pit on time. Honestly, not a bad steal angle, and if you get that steal, yeah. you get gold back, you can maybe wave clear a bit longer. I just... I just don't see how he you can in the scale Burger back kitchen. into the game Just didn't win the flip. Nope, nope. I, I think that Forrest... well... Everyone... I think the bot lane of Hawks haven't had an... They've been the better performance. I don't even think Marvel's had his best day, but I don't think it's on him. I think Viss has actually been largely pretty okay. Um, you know, I think that Camille was yeah, actually Vista pretty okay. I think, but like, oh, no, the coordination either. between Vista and Forest hasn't been yeah. as good as it has between Junja and Woody. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that I think that Marvel's and, had, and had, had an okay like, day in that day. I think that his his zigs was not great. I think that Vista is probably the best performing member on Hawks in this series. Um, you know, the Camille was pretty okay, and like his his Alistair even in game one was pretty okay. 
Um, the rest of the team, I think, are going to be very disappointed with their performance, and I feel sad for them about that, you know? You can't chunk through even the Alistair at this point. The Alistair's level 11, like, he's three levels up on the yeah. Maokai. Having second rank of Alistair, yep. oh, that's disgustingly strong, actually. The, the damage reduction mm -hmm. goes up so, so high. That Knight's Foul plus this is like, yeah, yeah. like how on earth you get into this front line. It's a three items area at this point, too. Yeah. Rumble's going, what, either Death Cap or Shadow Flame as well, so... Uh, with the Amp Term, it's, uh, you could go towards Zonius as well. Oh, true. Actually, that's a fair point. I still kind of have to remind thing. myself yes, I know. that uh, really Zonius goes actually. from NLR now. It's yeah. back to that after how many years? Mm. Okay. There goes the wall. This helps your siege. There's no way you can engage beyond this point. Your wave clear is very poor at this point of the game too, because you don't even have Especially like. Especially the Baron minions. You you do yeah. eventually get you know the true damage burn from from Smolder on two two five stacks, which means that your your wave clear goes up. You just don't have it yet. Still twenty five odd stacks off, right? So. Mm. Yeah, no, there is a real chance that Marble doesn't hit two two five stacks. Actually, I mean, if the game ends around this dragon, um, then there is a chance matter, that Marble yeah. doesn't even get it. Yeah. He's not going to have it for this fight. He's not going to have it for yeah, this no. one. Now, the question is, I mean, I don't think you can fight this dragon. I think it's, it's death if you do. Um, and if you lose forest looking for a steal, then it's effectively game over anyway. The game so. ends anyway, yeah. So you're in this worst situation where it's like, well, it's instant loss if you if you go in towards the dragons. You have to give up soul, which is pretty much a guaranteed loss anyway. You know, actually, there's going to be a huge problem where actually Woody becomes just unkillable because the ocean soul keeps ticking during his ult. Um... Yep. So if you get in for a combo and you pop your ult for the huge damage reduction, he's, you're basically going to have, you know, double yeah. health bars. Um, yeah, you, you've got, you've got, you've got that and Triumph mm. <laughs> and Ocean. And then it's also like you've got the Zonis completed on the Rumble now, who can proc it with his ultimate. You've got Vi with Sundered Sky, so there's already healing in there alongside Conqueror. You've yeah. got the fact that Talia and Zeri are, and plus a Vamp Scepter on Zeri for that matter as well, who can proc it. Very easily with okay, their it's not the war. Um, it's just going into this. Going into this comp uh, sucks, man. Of damage, man. And they don't have two two five. Oh, that's one. Like, he has two two five now. He has two two five. So that's one for one for none. None. Right okay. now. Yeah. All right, that's one. Needed. Okay. Is this it? Is this the moment? Well, we have two. We have over two 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 five stacks on on marble now, which is something. But Woody's half HP, so he can't engage, which means that we survive. Marble. Maple. Maple Abby. Oh, he gets right, the Q3. Right, it's not bad. Ooh, four people. It's not awful. Ooh. 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 Exciting. Okay, but they can't find anything more than that. They used a lot of ults to go get that one kill. I mean, every ult from PSG is also down. Interesting how Marble has actually skipped going for Shojin and immediately goes for Fire Cannon because he needs the Fire Cannon for Q up. I think that's quite intelligent, actually. I think you need the extra range for the important moments. Uh, yeah, it's close. That's it. I don't know about this one, boys. Okay, they get away with it. Nice charm. Okay. Got you in fairness. Playing for the team red buff is pretty valuable this Betty. game. Betty. 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 But Betty. Ooh, that's okay, that's something. Okay, that's something. That's something, oh, folks. Okay, alright, alright, alright. We teleport back onto the map for Arja. Arja's teleported out, but that's two good picks. PSG getting a bit lax. And, 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 and right. Smolder got, well, got both his kills. Okay, right. So now, that's, um... In small do we trust. In small do we trust. Charging the fucking spirit bomb. Alright. You know that scene where everyone's standing on the mountains? Charging it up? Ah, this is it. Give them your energy! Give them your energy! Let's go! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> we are normal humans. I just normal men. Yeah, we're just normal. We're just normal, innocent men. <laughs> we're just normal men. We're fighting without marble resetting. I mean, he's done it now, and he's got himself shot. So he has himself three item core. Two to two and a half items everywhere else. Like it's still. I want to point this out. Thirteen thousand gold behind. This is not. Yeah, but. Three items, smolder, two to five stacks, like stuff. Uh, oh, Mr. Kashu. Oh, Mr. Equalizer as well. Okay, PSG, we're getting really lax now. They're getting really lax. They're, they're throwing some stuff everywhere. Now the thing is, so, um, he's looking for. I thought he was looking for Honey Fruit. I think they saw him on a ward there though. 
Um, so they're going towards this. Woody has flash. So Marvel needs to like reaction flash the the combo and get into it, get into the pocket. It's a four v five fight. Okay, and Marco's not bad. Marco's really not bad actually. Marvel gets some decent Watch damage. Ginger. Woody, he's pulled back. He goes unstoppable. Yeah, he's I think now there's there he starts to pop. Yeah, very very close to getting an execute there. Okay, there's a vial coming in. There's a flash from Marble. Flash on Marble. Doesn't need to use it. Forest here. Oh my god, Arja. Oh, there we go. Arja, he's too good. No. Arja's my MVP for this series, I think, actually. We got spirit bombed. Oh, we didn't have enough power, guys. Oh, man. Alas, poor Hawks. We knew thee well. Oh, man. Well, it was a good run, folks. It was a good run. It was an excellent run. That's heartbreaking. That's heartbreaking, folks. So, Hawks managed to do what a lot of people didn't think was possible, which was get to this point in the first place, right? Wait, <laughs> and they make it all the way from the lower all the way to finals, having taken PSG to five games in the upper side, managing to get all the way here it just wasn't enough and the last series was pretty underwhelming they're gonna be really disappointed in that they they really thought that they had had it there but i think it just wasn't quite there and psg are a fantastic team they came in ready they came in prepped they didn't make the mistakes they did the first time they played hawks and i think hawks were a little bit slower to the draw on some of those roams some of the drafts we had some questions about and uh, that'll be psg representing the pcs and all the other regions in here going upside. And deservedly so. They played by far, by far the best series they have in playoffs. I think they were very, very, very good. Yeah. Yeah. You just can't, you can't take that away from them. But of course, of course, I think they're going to be disappointed. But again, you, you look at where this roster has come from, the amount of growth they've done. They are in with a real shot of making world at the very least, you know? It's just, yeah. It would have been nice if it could have been MSI too. It would have been some real history there. Goodbye, Ebby's eyebrows. Last uh. we've seen of them. Goodbye, Abby's over. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to LPL and forget about life. For okay, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, I'll drop out of call then. I'll leave well, you Well, thanks for chatting and suffering with me. See you in a bit, buddy. Oh, God. Well, I guess we go uh, mope around. I'm really sad, folks. I'm genuinely really sad. I, I can't believe that PCS only sends one team to MSI. I, I... I can't believe it, man. I'm actually so sad. Not not having the LGL in international tournament, fucking disgrace. Like I'm, I'm actually so upset that LGL doesn't get a seed through to MSI. It's, yeah. I'm genuinely just like very frustrated that the way that LGL has been treated this last year. They obviously have the talent. They obviously do. That finals might not have shown it, but the rest of the playoffs did. One series does not a bad team make. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, folks. Alright, let me straight change the stream title. Oh, so we're just going to be watching LPL now. Uh, there we go. I, I'm I'm actually just so sad that there is no second seed for um, uh. Yeah, it would be huge. And to go back to, to the lane assignments, I, I think it's about sending Flydre down to match Yari, because you know that's where Zai would want to play around. And again, there, there's definitely some, some potential there to find that kill, especially not having any magic for this for Flydre yet. Just going straight Thorn Mail, which seems like like a bit of overkill. And again, I just don't feel like we've seen like good answers into it. We've seen like sustainable answers into it. We oh, well, I'm gonna be moody. I'm gonna be moody for the rest of the streams, folks. I'm sorry. Thank you, Sam. Appreciate it. Selfish can cuss as well. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, 
Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I'm, a, I'm actually quite upset. Oh, thank you, Sam, for the resub. I appreciate it. 31 months, Jesus. Well, you got the full sub badge and shit, so, you know, that's fun. The sub badge. I'm actually really happy with my sub badges. Okay, Tien gets into the back line, but Rulo manages to get in the pocket. Gets hit by a mantra. You know, he gets hit by the Ari, but it's not enough to get him out, but it's enough to get him out of the fight. Oh, I need to change my mindset. I'm just going to be moping otherwise. Okay. I'm happy that they got that far. I can't just be emo about them not making it through to MSI, man. I'm just, yeah. Well, he's gonna mope about for a while. The wild cards are getting killed off one by one, it seems. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. I'll try and be higher energy for you all. I will try, but bleh. You know what I should really do at some point? I should go ask Kelsey Moser if she wants to go chat about LP uh, L LPL at some point. How am I only now seeing the honey? I don't know. I should go ask Kelsey if she wants to have someone else hang out and call. Okay. Right, what do I think? What do I think? So, um, difference between this game and the last game. Jackie Love is on the poke virus, but it's into an actual tank frontline from JDG. Doesn't matter if the carry dies first, though. And you have a lot of ways to ensure that. You've got Ari, you have um, Aatrox, you have the Ari Vi combo, and the arrow flying over the top. Oh, that's a fantastic ult! Oh, Jakulov! Oh my god, what a Varus ult! Predicts the clone? Fucking great. This guy, you cannot let Jakulov have Varus! Oh, Jakulov on Varus, man. He might just be the best Varus in the world, you know. I actually think Jack Love might be the best Varus in the world. Um, Jackie Love is, is maybe just the best Varus in the world. He got like a prediction ult onto Kanavi's clone on Wukong. It's just, oh, oh delicious. Hey, Mecca, good to see you again. Oh, I'm away, probably just my shirt in the screen. I'll come crouch down briefly. Mm. Who did you vote for in the end? Were you JDG? JDG. Yeah, I think JDG 
Yeah. You still think they do it? Um, not if they're drafting like this. I don't think you can allow Dracula and Mako like dominant bot lanes like this. Mm. Because I think that, you know, they're banking on the fact that Ruler will take over late game fights, but how does Ruler take over fights when you have, you know, five champions which can get on top of him and kill him? I mean, maybe the maybe the Alistair can't if he doesn't have flash, but everyone else can either at least throw an arrow through or get a combo onto him. What do you think about, instead of going for the Rel this game, missing going for an Enchanter like the Lulu? Don't you just die in the engage? I mean, just think you've got, I the, actually think you've that got the enough CC... front line between the Wukong and the Rex line that... I think I don't need to think like just because I just feel like it gives you more lane pressure and, a, and an enchanter for ruler on mm. the Zeri might be what you need. You, you need you need multiple engaged sources though I think as well and then look I think just the extra CC is peel the the CC is the peel okay that's not bad Kanavi Kanab fucking Kanavi Wukong man Kanavi Wukong best in the world. He was so good that champion is true. Sam did you get a haircut? I don't think. You uh did. no it's just my hair is actually not a mess today. Mm. See if I put it forward it's still very long. Yeah. So when did you, when did you last see it? They still want to fight this. Jackie Love. Okay. Step it up. Has the chance of corruption. Yeah, yeah Jackie Love's threatening as fuck right now, man. Also, Cream with the Banshee's Veil makes it really hard to... Um, but, okay, they get themselves the dragon. They muscle their way in. And now we're going towards our actual late game in this game. No, that's kind of No, you I can't. I got read by that particular. I was like, it's not clay. So... Yeah, we're actually heading towards proper late game with a 500 gold lead, so it's nothing. Um, yeah, that's a... Ooh, shit, it's close. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Give Cream an ulted, maybe, but it would have been a blind ult. Yeah, but then you still... You only try to cancel it with the charms, so you need to ult in with... Um, yeah, oh, maybe you could have done it anyway, but... Yeah, Flandre and Kanavi, man. Kanavi's Wukong is just absolutely destructive, by the way. Kanavi's Wukong is probably the best in the world, actually. Probably is just Kanavi. It's, it? I mean, Ona's pretty good too, but. Yeah. I said Peanut's a solid Wukong. Shun's a good one, but. Yeah, I think it probably is. Okay, Cream needs to be a bit careful here. Ooh, he did actually end up. I mean, this is probably just ult. Ah, that's a lot of ults to do. Ah, he used the uh, flash beforehand. Oh, okay, he's got another Sundered Sky, just one more. Oh, boy. Ooh, flash to prevent the. Oh, that's a really good combo, though. Don't they just get ran down? Yeah, they yeah. might do actually. Okay. They don't even have Zeri at this fight, by the way. Do they have Rylas yet? I guess not. Because if you have Rylas on that Annie, the Annie Tibbers, then um. Yeah, you get run down. Yeah. Jungle for jungle in the end. Um, have you watched the LCS players matches? No, man. I've been so, like, caught up with um LPL instead. Because LPL's just been a huge... It, the LPL playoffs is just so grueling. Yeah. So many. It's just like a best of five a day. And it's super high level gameplay at this point too. It was a fun series this morning. Wouldn't missing on Luli um, be even better peel with the polymorph against Vi? But you don't stop the Vi ulting though, even then. The thing is, wow, basically, I, I feel like... I feel like you just need a load of hard CC to actually be... Because, like, I actually think that Ari's really good versus Enchanters most of the time. Um, because, like, you just kill the Enchanter. Um, whereas some stuff like Leona Nautilus or, or whatever, if a Rel in this case, if they can catch you in the combo, then you don't get to use your mobility, which is your, your safety. I mean, like, put it this way, I think there isn't, you could justify a Lulu, yeah. but I think Alex has got a solid point there. Like, it mm. would be a different way to play the game. I mean, also, I mean, hmm. Yeah, I mean, the Ori, the Ori and the Varus, if there's too much engage onto them, like, they, they struggle to focus as, uh, like, function as champions, but then... Hmm. Yeah, no, the logic's there for an Enchanter, too. I mean, you have enough engage between Annie Wukong and Rek'Sai. I mean, yeah, the logic's there for an Enchanter, too. I, I think... I, I, this is one of those weird games where I don't think actually Enchanter or... or um, I don't think you lose that much for going one or the other. It's just a, it's a, it's a different way of playing. Yeah, games, because like. you already have enough... A lot of the time, you need the hard CC support when you don't have it elsewhere, but you have that. JDG... I think this is more of just a JDG thing in some ways, but then again, that's not always true because Missing actually does play Enchanters. But on the whole, JDG, particularly last year as well... Um, did very, very well at using hard CC supports to, like, use it as a secondary peel tool. So, like, someone all ins, and then you just, like, once your AD carry is flashed out, then you start CCing the targets down or whatever. I think it's a little bit of a difference between, say, Spring, JDG, and Summer. Yeah. Obviously, Spring was Lulu meta everywhere, and obviously JDG were very good with that, because when Ruler was getting all of those incredible plays on the Zeri, mm. a lot of that was off the back of having missing on things like the Lulu. 
But I think come summer, you're absolutely right. It was missing on things like particularly the Nautilus and the Rel, if I'm remembering correctly. It was pretty big. <sighs> Panth counts. I mean, Panth. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. Go, so I'm gonna go to the toilet real quick. Do you mind just babysit for a little bit? That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fine. All right. I'm gonna cry in the bathroom. I'm gonna cry go, in the club. Go cry in the club. The bathroom's the club, by the way, yeah, guys. That's the one. Oh, it's got that attached to your head. Yeah, I know. It, it keeps doing that because it keeps falling behind the. Uh, all, right. Uh, all right, chat. <laughs> so, hi. Uh, there we go. And now my head looks more like a mess. There we go. Is that more normal, Pim? Uh, babysitters. Right. So, there's beer in the fridge. We've got the club lights going on in the bathroom. Alex looking a bit different. I mean, I know. he's. Uh, Alex looks so much better right now. I mean, have you seen this? The chiseled jawline. The great sort of like tightly shaven beard. This hair. The sophisticated glasses. I mean, it's just... It's pretty excellent, really, isn't it? Pim, don't laugh at that. that. That's not a laughing matter. This is a this is a this is a blushing emo moment. Give me an, a, an initial oh my from from that incredible Twitch channel initialized casts. That's what you should be. Uh, that's what you should be doing. Alex and after a night out equals Sam. <laughs> no, probably not wrong actually. Uh, Angie with an oh oh from Ari. Yeah, that's a good one too. Take that. All right, well, game still remains pretty close. So interestingly here, as I'm kind of done jo jo joking around a bit, Flandre being dead is problematic, but there's 20-odd seconds between commands, and that's actually really nearly nice, but Maker gets the ult off in time, and Canavi dying means this is going to be barren, I think, probably. Flandre can teleport in 10 seconds. The problem is that Top have actually lost so much of their health bars, and Missing doesn't get on top of Cream, so Cream has no mana, it doesn't matter. It's a triple kill for 369! Good God almighty! That's just the Quadra. If, if Flandre teleports in, there's a pentakill angle for him. He just wasn't there. Lord Almighty 369 Aatrox, people. That is pretty nuts, actually. 999. Someone call an ambulance. A load of broken angles on the rift. I'm just saying, if he ends up back in London, all makes sense. He rolls 999, he calls the police, because he's just committed an absolute crime on the rift. Phew. <laughs> The initial pick onto Flandre meant it was always going to be a 4v5 and tricky, but then Mako survives the attempted at pick onto him. Canavi dies. That's a lot of your engagement front line. Cream's forced to ult. I think he just gets out, doesn't he? And Tien's over. Okay, actually, Baron didn't go down, in fairness. Through all the while, through all the top gets soul point, and that's great news. The game is still playable for JDG because they're only like 2,000 odd gold behind. At this point in the game, that's not that big a deal at 31 minutes. You, you know, you have three items on. Annie Zeri, you can start this up. You've just popped Cream's ult. This is a time you can play for the fight here. You don't have to play for the Baron. You can flip it, but I'm not sure you need to. Okay. Uh, that's another big pick. Narvi gets to the backside. Takes a lot of damage doing it, though. Cream gets to back away. They did get the Aatrox, though. Ah, uh, that's a problem. Okay, well, Varus does despicable things. Jackie loves Varus, man. Okay, that took Tien miles and miles away, and he doesn't have flash, so oops. Didn't need to ult there, Tien, and actually now, uh, yeah, Rek'Sai gets to ult. Oops. Well, you're going to lose your mid lane tier 2. You might lose your mid lane inhibitor. Is Flandre just going to sit there and auto it? No, they're just going to shove the wave and then go to Baron. Okay, fine. Safer this way, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Well, the extended fight still goes the way of JDG. They don't have a smite, so they've got to have... Probably Flandre just warding people off in case someone comes for a steal, but I don't think that's that vi viable right now. Cream's going to teleport in and try, because they know they've got no smite. So this is actually a possible steal. If Cream times his Q right here, he could maybe steal this. They have to time their burst out right, because if Cream steals this, it's an absolute war crime. Wait for it, wait for it. Trying to stop him coming in, he ults, can still look to do it. It's down to 900 HP. There's a bird, he can go and steal it! No! 
No! No! No! They're all lactose intolerant. They have they have just been given the worst bowel problems of their life. Cream has just poisoned all of JDG. Get in here and watch this replay, Alex. Wait, what the hell happened here? Cream steals the barrier in a 1v4. There is no smite. Just ults in the pit. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Aliol used to be 70% at season 4 at all ranks, it was fucking stupid. Um, okay, alright, that's that's a play of all time, Jesus Christ. 4v1, just ults into the deck and steals <sighs> What? Leandri's burn meant it kept ticking down. Ah, uh, man, that's insane actually. He didn't even have Spellbook Smite or something like that, that's hilarious. <laughs> that's so funny actually. Okay, all right. I've done the toilet trip. The good thing is, look at the timers on the top. Like, uh, they uh, they stick up quite nicely. As ES should be able to at least maintain trial. Upside, I always think thought Cream deserved a better team. Yeah, for sure. He's he was my third all pro mid laner for for me. He was. He didn't get it in in the split, but he deserved it really. Man, I can't believe that PCS only gets one MSI spot. How stupid is that, man? There are three regions in PCS. Three of them. They get one spot. You've got LCO, you've got LGL, and you've got PCS. And they get one spot between them for MSI. Who thought of this, man? Who thought that was a good idea? That's like a huge amount of teams and players and fans which just don't get to watch their team at MSI now. Like, you can't say that PCS includes all of these regions and everyone would consider that a home team because it is... PCS is not like a, like a completely like, um, monoform kind of like culture, right? So it's I I I I'm I'm actually content. I knew this would be an issue, but like one of one of PCS or LGL would have lost the representative, like in this series today. And you know I'm sad that it's LGL, but if LGL had made it, PCS not making it, that'd have been a fucking tragedy. They've been in every tournament since season two. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know. Like, there ha- I'm glad that we do get more more major region teams and stuff like that. That's- that's abs- that's not what I'm saying. And that's not the reason why minor region teams aren't there, I'm pretty sure. But like, you know, we've lost- we've lost Turkey, we've lost CIS, we've lost, um, we've lost LGL now, we've lost LCO. Like, that's four minor regions gone in like the last handful of years. And like I understand that a lot of this isn't necessarily due to I mean like I think I think Yeah, I mean I think Oh shit, that's a Varasol miss though. But like I mean the LGL is a lot of it is financial, but now the finances are gonna get even worse because you don't get to have fucking um like world and MSI exposure. You don't get to have to get the prize pool, you don't get to show your sponsors off at the, at those championships as well on screen. You know, a lot of sponsorship deals will be altered from this. Um and like obviously CIS, they can't keep working like that. That that league cannot keep functioning in the way that it does. I understand that. These regions aren't winning MSI anyway. Do they have to win MSI to be there? Do they have to be win MSI to be there? NA's never won an MSI. Should they be there? By that logic, should should NA be at MSI? Um, what about all the times when um, LPLs won it recently? Should we, should it just be an LPL tournament because LPL wins MSI more often? Should should that be the case? No, of course not. You know, some of my favorite matches have been between VCS and, um, and, um, and LGL. Like, and those regions are never winning MSI. The fact is that you're fucking celebrating international competition and celebrating the fact that League has played everywhere in the world and people from anywhere in the world can look up to a team and say, hey, that's where I'm from, I want to support that. There has to be a level of that. Yes, you do need to have the best teams in the world there too. But you do, there, there needs to be a level of, like, representation from everywhere possible that you can. Because the fan bases need to have their home teams like that. That's a really good combo by, um, Betian. Uh, Ruler's just gonna die here, right? Yeah, yeah, they managed to keep the Vikey. God damn, Tian had a good team fight.
Holy moly, TAS are actually just teamfighting so fucking well, actually. By the way, t um, JDG did have a coaching change just before they came- But they 3 0 fucking Weibo. But they, they've dropped Marfa. Marfa's no longer their coach, I'm pretty sure. Is Varasalt still the most skill missed skill shot? Not so much anymore. It used to be when it was a 100, 100 unit width um, skill shot. Oh my god, top esports. What a team fight. GBA has a great video about wildcards at Worlds and how they often, how often they influence the outcome of groups. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, missing Rak spam Rakan last summer. Yeah, he had like a twenty. He had like a twenty game. Rak uh, like in the L in the LPL, he has like a twenty something game win streak, and he's just lost that. So. Of course, there's Albus Knox Luna, but there have been many other occasions where teams didn't get through groups and thanks to wildcard upsets. Absolutely, yeah. It's a similar case with the Latin America South and Latin, Latin America North regions. They merge leagues under one name and still only get one spot in every international tournament. I mean, I somewhat understand that more because there does need to be, like, some level... I mean, because... Neither of those regions, were, they are stronger together as a region. Financially, I think it's worked out a little better for them as well. Um, yeah. Top esports roster is stacked, but Tian is not him. Tian's had a great split. I don't, I, I, I don't agree with that. Tian's had a good split. Okay, I'm having big man for a bit. I should do Loldal. I should do Loldal. Hello. All right, let's go do this then. So I can save my own mind. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that um, you can't give the poke Varus to Jackie Love as well. Poke, I think poke poke Varus to Jackie Love is just instant instant loss. I think. I think that's a huge mistake. All right, let's see how quickly I can get this done. Come on, load please. What the fuck? Why is it not loading the box? Okay. Mana. Um, it's just a melee. Melee mail, um, pre-2011, um, there's Gangplank. They're not human. They're male, they're male, um, Nana in 2009. And they're not a top laner. Uh, so jungle or support, um, could be Alistar. Yeah, it could be Alistar. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Blaze demand an offering. Is that a Relia? Don't think. Oh, it is. Huh. Yeah, what's that sound like? The blades demand an offering. Ah, huh, uh, uh, that is Viego's Q blade of the Rent King. Oh shit! What? Can you can you not do that, please? Uh, Blitzcrank. Is it the hand? Is it Vi because of the gloves? Uh oh! It's Azrael for the gauntlet. I should have been able to tell that after that one. I just, whatever. Um, um, is that Udir or Lee Sin? Who the hell is that? Is it, is it Udyr? Don't think it is. Lee Sin? Don't think it's that either, actually. Is it Shrindamir? Um, it, is it Maokai? Wukong? Uh, by, is it Jax? Are you kidding? Is it actually Jax? Is it Godstaff Jax, a new one? Oh, it is. You know what? That's actually the old Splash too. I'm just bad at that. It's just Godstaff, yeah. That's my bad. That's my bad. Alright, well, whatever. We've done that now. Play some different games. 
play some word games. Connections. Anything to stop my mind thinking about how sad I am about PCS. <sighs> sure. Um, okay. Dark caramel. Is this kind of popcorn? Wait. Dark caramel. Caramel peanuts. I mean, is this like snacks? Wait. Pig pen sty. No, that ain't it. Uh, gift prize. What a. Hmm. Firm, stable, solid, sound? Nice, cool. Um, dump, sty, mess, pig pen? Yeah, disorderly, cool. Dark caramel, popcorn peanuts, I don't know, is that chocolate? No. What the frick is that then? Hmm. Prize Charlie. I don't know what the fuck that means. Prize and gift, presumably one. Uh. I. Hmm. I actually don't know about this one now. Hmm. Hmm. So I would think like these are kind of like snacks or something, right? Gift horse. I thought about that. Prize horse. Oh, dark horse. Right. That makes sense. Huh. Dark horse, gift horse, prize horse. I don't know about Charlie horse, though. What about this? Crazy instead of horse. Hmm. I, I thought that prize horse would be a thing, and then I guess it's the last one, whatever it is. Prize? Found in Cracker Jacks. Oh, fuck off. That's so stupid. We could do Wordle now. We could do Wordle, I guess. Okay. Um, what did I do? Add you. Okay, I haven't done Wordle in fucking forever, man. Um, um, paint. Okay, like that. Um, so there's probably an IA in there. China? Okay, so we have those two at least. Uh, I don't know after this now. Brighton, that's not a word. That's not a word. That's not a word. That's not a word either. <laughs> Shit, what do I do? Um... Glorp. I'm just gonna do this just to get some words out of the way. Letters out of the way. So there's an O and wait, there's an L and an O. That's really good, we got those at least. Glorp. Hmm. It's got that. Um I, have a... I don't fucking know, man. I don't know with this, I don't know enough words apparently. I don't know what that is. Oliver. Wait, there's a there is a V in there. Oh, viola. Yeah. Oh no, that can't be it. Voila, voila, voila. Right. Okay. Oh, that was viola. What the fuck? <laughs> there's the mini crossword as well. Um. Crossword mini is kind of cool. I like this one actually. Um. Sounds of magical disappearances. I don't fucking know. Tech giant facing antitrust. I don't fucking know. Lace again is in shoelace. Retie. 
Uh, seat down one. Nifty bit of entertainment for gifts. I don't fucking know. New York baseball team familiarly. Is that giant? No, it's not giants. Mets? No, I don't fucking... What are they? Two is Apple. Oh, it's two Apple, really? That can't be that. Can it? Oh, yeah, lol. Guess it can be. Um... Setting for I don't freaking know. Uh, choose to participate. Um, opt in. Movie informally flick. Looks for seeks. Poofs. Um, party. Trick. And the Yanks. Yeah. Wow, oh, that's really loud. Stop. Stop. That's really loud. And what's the other one? There's the mini crossword. And what's the other one? What, what, what other games have you got? Spell new wordle. The mini. We've done that one. Connections. We've done. Sudoku. We've done that. Whatever. That's fine. We'll do with that. I've wasted enough time now. Oh, is that Rangdal? I'm bad at Rangdal, though. I'm really bad at Rangdal. <laughs> um. There's the mini crossword and there's the other thing as well. Um, there's another one. There's like, it's not the crossword. It's like the plus word. That's what it's called. Plus word. That's cool. This one's a pretty fun one too, actually. Plus word's fun. Because this one has like um, a, a word at the bottom you've got to do. That is in... Is, is this Ergo? No, I don't know that then. Um, Congo or Tango? Congo dance? Welcome back, everyone, to the LPL split split. Um, Ben something, I don't fucking know. On one's toes, alert. When are we doing the morning newspaper crossword like real grandpas are fucking there, right? Harp like instruments. Um, I don't know. Perfect. I don't know. Dawdle. I don't know. Launch here. Enter. Eh. Know the... I don't know. Know the score. Score. Wait, hang on. Let me, let me just... Let me make this low. Let me make like, this smaller now. Have this down here. Do the crossword until we get into game. <laughs> Teepees or yurts? Tents. What's this? That is... I don't know. Ben Elton? Um... One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got five letters here. If they're in the yellow square, it means that a prayer's in the bottom word. And if it's green, it's in the same row as well. Liars! Oh, is it liars like that? Dawdle. Dally. Um, ideal. So now we've got an iron here, and then we have an N O. Oh, irony. Yeah, let's go. Cool. Nice. That's the plus word. That's how you play that one. Cool. What's up? So each of these yellow letters appears somewhere in da down here. And then the green one always appears in that same row as well. So that's how that works. I should have explained that. Well, okay, whatever. Cream walks. I mean, cream. Jesus, that's hilarious, man. Cream's had a good year. Curse's enemy team with lactose debuff. I fucking know, right? <laughs> Would you know about that, Angie? Would you know about being lactose intolerant? Other teams, but 
three six nine coming back home to yep. top esports. And I think him against Flandre is such an interesting matchup in and of itself. The rec side looks so good early, but three six nine who just knows how to do it in the late game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, man, like how many of those fights when I swear were following like Jack Club or uh, Jack Club like getting uh, engaged up by Flandre? And I was like, wait. Wait, 369 got a kill. Wait, 369 got a second kill. What's going on <laughs> Wait, here? Quadra? Yeah, exactly. Wait, like, that was, happened twice? Oh it God. was really big. So, again, everything's going to be up to you. My feeling when Angie picks Varus, gets counter picked with Moomoo Ellis. <laughs> Wait, hang on, that's a great idea. <laughs> is there any kind of milk? Is there another kind of milk champion? Okay, right, right, right. I need to stop moping. I need to stop moping. Jesus. I'm just gonna sit here and be sad. Meow Kai Moolster Bot. Ugh. Yeah. Great rage is mine. Yeah. That's, that's very valid, so. Did you go back and watch it? No, I didn't get a chance to. I was too busy doing crosswords to try and forget about PCS. Hello, darkness, my old yeah. friend. Like, I think there's the problem is, like, even though PSG are going ahead from PCS, I don't feel like they are my team. I feel like they are PCS's team, not the LGL team. Because I, I, I just... They're just not my team. And I'm happy that they made it because they were the better team. But they just don't feel like my team. And that's the problem. That's the problem that we have with GPL. It's the problem with, like, a lot of conglomerate regions, you know? Okay, first pick Rek'Sai. I think that's fine. Um, okay, okay, okay. So Ari's been passed up as the first pick again. Do you just lock in Varus Ari again? Now, do you have to take away the Vi? Do you have, does Kanavi need to go Vi now? Do you go Zeri Vi? But then, like... We're, we're going into the same fucking composition, though, man. Like, aren't you just gonna get monstered? Like, Jackalove and Mako are on such ridiculous form. Like, why are we giving Jackalove the best Varus in the world this pick on cooldown? I don't like the Rel either. I don't like this either. I don't think this helps you in your laning phase. I mean, you don't have the Nautilus for Mako, but... I mean, they just lock in the Vi. I mean, now they... They have an insane pick combo. I think you can lock in the Vi. I mean, if you're... You, you really worried about not having a good top line matchup for 369? I think he's just going to outvalue anyway. Just lock in the Vi. It's the best pick for the comp. This is kind of lazy from JDG, man. Why does Facebook keep giving me some just really 
awful, really shit. I, I don't even use Facebook. Why are you giving me notifications on my pu push notifications on my phone? the biggest difference. <laughs> I do like the Elise and Bantor's Kanabi though. I feel like he's just so fluid on that tank and so ridiculously strong. We'll okay, right, what else? So jungle bans, support bans on the other side, so Mako's not gonna have himself the easy time. Which means that maybe you can survive laning phase as um this JDG now and actually get in towards late game, but even then, late game, they just got monstered last time. I mean, you still have to play Zeri into Vi, that's shit. Which is why, whenever the Ari's locked in, you have to question whether the Vi is going to come in after. If you're locking in the Zeri, you need to know that the Vi is going to be there. You can't play the Zaya, which is normally a Vi counter because the Varus is already there. Now you've got an equalizer which goes on top of the Vi as well. I just don't see how this- I don't see how- how Ruler survives. Maybe you have to flex, um, the Rel into the jungle. I mean, is- is Rel jungle dead yet? Is Rel- is Rel jungle dead on 14-6? I kind of miss seeing Rel more often, you know? No, it's not dead? Okay, right, I guess they could flex it still then. 14-7, right. So it'll be in time for MSI. Teehee. Just flip the whole fucking meta, I guess. Okay, so we get the on support, right, okay. Um, so that's just another backline access champion which goes on top of the orbital bomba- Oh no, 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 it's the rumble support on top into the, um, rec site. Okay, that's fair, actually. I guess this is a little different. Oh, the Spongebob reference, yeah, yeah, the riding on the mechanical horse thing, yeah. Okay, so, I mean, this whole game is going to be about can Ruler find himself in the pocket, and the answer is going to be no. Because he's going to get Vi ulted, Orn ulted, Rumble ulted, Varasol over the top as well, and Arrow over the top as well. Ari's going to kill you as well while all the CC is happening, and you have no other damage left on your team. Like, you don't have a, a carry in mid lane. You have one da- Why did you lock in this comp, JDG? Like, you have no damage outside of Ruler, and the, and the Zeri cannot function in this comp. You don't even have something like a Time Kench to save you. I don't even- I wouldn't have even liked it in this comp. Because again, your laning phase is really poor then at that point. Like, going Zeri- Zeri Time Kench into a Vara sounds like hell. But how do you- How do you legitimately lock in a Zeri into this kind of comp multiple times in a row? I just- I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Yeah, it's the same comp from um from JDG, and then you know they banned out the, they banned out some different stuff. So it's not exactly the same full draft, but it's pretty similar, you know. I mean, I'm mentally checked out because of PCS, you know. But. <laughs> oh God, Flandre, no! They don't even blow any summoners, and it's a oh God, Jenny, gee, what's happened? What is happening? But like, we don't even get to learn that much about top esports from this kind of series because like. JDG are just, just like running it in draft and running it in game. Varus gets the kill. What, what does he go back for? Does he get a, does he get a tier off of that first? Does he literally get a tier first back? 
Oh, he's a longsword. Alright, it's just laning presence. But, like... Jesus Christ, man. I guess you actually don't need early tier from Varus, because he gets it. He doesn't go for a full Mar Muramana, you know? Yeah, I mean, loser of this goes on to face NIP, and you know, I mean, Flandre versus um, Shanji, I don't think that's great. I think, well, if JDG are going to be this lax in the early game, and you have Rookie versus Yagao, I think NIP could beat JDG, actually. I actually think NIP could beat JDG. Yeah, I think if JDG go against NIP in this form, I actually bet on NIP. I, I think NIP win that. Based on current form, even with Photic and Draw potentially getting gapped by, by Ruler in this thing, I think that Draw has been on much better form. And even though Kanavi is an insanely talented jungler, maybe the best jungler like in the world, but like... This is just awful from JDG. You know, they, by the way, they, they kicked their coach before playoffs, by the way. There was always, there were some internal issues, I'd imagine. Like, I don't know exactly what's happening there, but it's been a mess. There might be opportunities uh, for TS to find more action, especially when they get some heavy trades off around by right? Like, you, you wouldn't assume it now, but assuming they're able to stack another wave in the future after a lot of this trading comes off, it's like, you can bring TN down, even if you don't die, try to zone them off turrets, so I def uh, there's options there, and hell, actually, looks like they are just going to look for that right now. Dude, it's ridiculous. We just had the stat come on our screen. Eight and zero for Jackie Loves Varus so far this split, and here they're going to find even more for him. The flash is coming out. Nice juggling. Okay. No missing gets the knockback on the Jackie Loves. And they get a kill on bot side as well, so it's two kills to the Varus. Good dive. Really good dive. Don't even have to use the flash from, um, from Tien. Okay, good kill turn around though. That's really important. That's really important. This is definitely JDG not performing rather than TS being that good. I mean, I think TS are good, but like that, yeah. It's just hard to tell exactly how good because JDG are running it, you know? Yeah, I think I think Jack Love is the best virus in the world. I think this guy's absolutely insane. Three six nine is doing completely fine here. He's just very happy to play tanks. I think I think three six nine is the best tank player in the world as well. I mean, yes, a lot of it was Aatrox being Aatrox, but also three six nine is still a disproportionately good Aatrox. I do actually agree, Ka uh, Kazel. Like LPL Aatrox is just LPL Aatrox. Um, but I think three six nine even then has shown really good angles and really good team fighting on it. So I'm like. Um, there are levels to it. It's kind of like, remember when supports were getting MVPs on Yumi and just like, what the fuck? No, it's Yumi. Um, so yeah, I think you're right to call out, like, the fact that Aatrox, particularly on the flanking build, like, doing well in team fights, is not the craziest thing ever. Especially since Snow... Like, Aatrox, when he gets ahead of the game, like, he just snowballs and, and, and like, and does a million damage in each team fight. But, um... Um, 369 might have enough... Oh, he doesn't have enough mana for ult now. Oh, he gets the knock-up anyway. Oh, Flandre, no. You can't make mistakes like that. He had a different champion in game one and still got a quadro, I think. Um, Wasn't that the Aatrox? Wasn't that the Aatrox? Pretty sure that was the Aatrox, yeah. He got a quadro on Aatrox this series, anyway. I, I, if that's the one you're talking about. Okay, Cream gets... Burst a bit. Dark Seal first back, though. Nice up. Aatrox is game two. I can't remember game one. I can't remember game one. Then. 
it's 20 CS for, for Jackie Love. Another a plate goes down as well that crashes into it. It's difficult to try to pick these up. Shit, don't miss your cone. What is fine? That just means that Top Beast has lost so much priority around Boss Action. Shit. I'm gonna say it again. It's Tell the hope it's not true. Hopefully, hopefully after seeing the East Beast series, the Jackie Love storyline is fixable. I can imagine gaining hundreds of bonus AD from your ult, that perma resets your 5v5 and healing 1000 HP with every Q and building assassin. I mean, yeah, I, I, I do actually like watching it. I like watching assassin Atrox, but it is, um... Oh, Renekton again one? Yes, you're right. Yes, it was Renekton. You are right. So I remember that now. Yeah, 369 has been fucking incredible. I mean, Jackie Love is also just showing exactly why he has been top tier for for however long now as well. Jackie Love's fucking great. If Croc gets onto multiple people, then yeah, true. I mean, I don't think Renekton will do as much as damage as Aatrox, but he can do it earlier into the game. Um, and of course he has the point and click CC as well, so. Ooh, good combo from Kanavi. Really good combo from Kanavi. And to kill onto Ruler. Okay, alright. Two kills on Zeri, but you're still behind in CS. It's not like you're stupid far up in terms of gold. Full combo from Yagao, that's nice. But you don't get to do, like, you don't use First Strike anymore on, on Annie. You use the area to kind of, like, make up some of the damage difference that's coming across um, seasons. Okay, 10 top side. I mean, 369 getting gold is actually pretty terrifying for JDG. So if, uh, picture this, right? What happens when 369 turns up as a higher level top laner than the Rek'Sai with two and a half items, let's say? Um, Zeri is not going to have enough gold, I think, to deal with Orn quickly. Um, you're going to need a Black Cleaver on Kanavi, but you're not going to be able to afford that before Sundered Sky. You need Sundered Sky, it's too important because it allows you to be more tanky. Um, in terms of the healing that it gives you. So I really feel like 369 just outscales this game as a frontline now. Um, while all this is happening, if you have to hit the Orn and not die, if you have to dive beyond the Orn, his ult stops your dive pretty easily. Um, and if you have to go on the Orn, then still the equalizer is hitting you and the Orn ult's hitting you. You literally, yes, you, you literally cry, you go into the fetal position and you, you walk into the, into the next series because you're not fair at finishing off in this one, so... I think as long as Annie, Wukong, kill Ari, JGG wins. Problem is, I feel like Cream is going to go towards Banshee, uh, not Banshees. I think he's going to go towards uh, Merc Treads and Banshees Fail, and it's going to be really hard to do that. And I think that would be the right build. That would actually be the right build. It's fine. Like, your, your Vi does damage. There's, um, like, Ari will do damage anyway, because there's no hype. I mean, you, as long as you're not hitting Rek'Sai, you'll do fine. Okay. It's done fine in that. And then, like, you have, you even have the Rumble for extra damage coming in from support as well. The Equalizer is just really good. You also have the Electro Harpoons, which will help you um, get extra damage from Orn and, and Ari's um, magic damage, which is a really underrated thing. Like, being able to shred magic resist for the rest of your team is actually very valuable if you get the right combo off. 5D chest, look at Nomeira's stream because I'm so so. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> There's no counterplay versus Ari spamming RQW, lol, rest of it. I mean, normally the counterplay is just perma seeing the Ari, which you can do. Um, you have Rel, you have Annie. The problem is that it's very easy to disrupt that combo. If you all in um, Vi or Ari, then the Ornult comes across. 369 is very good at using his own CC to break up other combos onto his carries. So if you go onto Jack Love or Cream, then Tien 369 are just going to like pull all the triggers. Just be honest, Nightmare, you missed the Shy too. Boycott Elf. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I was a certified the Shy hater, man. Jamada, Jamada can attest to that too. Um, like, the, the Shy was inting our region for all of last year, and then he ends up going to World. Like, his regional finals were good and his worlds were good, but, like, this dude entered the entire. They, they missed the. 
he deep deep into this entire year, man. Like it it just it just doesn't make up for it. Y'all y'all can take your casual propaganda elsewhere. <laughs> Um, if you get this new item with Annie, uh, the one you can use with Aryan Comp- Oh, Malignance. Um, Tibbs makes an area constantly. Yes. It- with every tick of- tick of damage it does that. It also means that after that point that Rylize will deal- will slow off of that as well. Um, I mean it will with the Annie- with the Tibbs anyway. So it means that the Malignance and the Annie damage over time will then, um, slow with the Rylize. He won so many regular season games just by running over top with Narcosante. <laughs> uh, Cyberstorm, thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. No, as an ADC, you can't outplay the Ari? Yeah, you absolutely can. You absolutely can. Like, if you dodge out on the charm, or you cleanse out on the charm, then, then you get to turn around more damage onto Ari, because AD carries have more burst damage than, than mages. A lot of the time. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah. AD carries will win up a straight fist fight against most mages. Unless, like, there's a lot of CC coming in from the mages kit, like an Orianna Shockwave or something, which you can't cleanse out of. Or they outrange you. But, like, if an Ari dives into a Zeri and the Zeri manages to, like, sidestep the, the charm or flash out of the charm, then Ari, like, has failed, basically. Which is why it's so broken with the Vi, right? It's the Vi Ari which ends up threatening the Zeri. Because you can't outplay that at that point. Cream having an elite series. I mean, he's he's been doing some really good stuff this entire year. Cream's been Cream's had a hell of a year, considering where he came from as well. You know, he was like the melee only player for a very long time. So you just R forward, then press W Q, then R back. No, I mean, that's just not true, Kazal. You don't play. If that's the case, you don't you don't know how to play AD carry or you don't play Ari. One of the two. If you think that, then you don't play those champions. That's realistically not how it happens. Like I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. <laughs> That's just not how it works. And if you're diving onto this area, you think you can dive into melee and not get CC'd? Because in this game, it's actually going to be more about Cream. Um, it's going to be about Cream comboing onto other people's CC. Like, this whole top esports comp is meant to pin the Zeri down so, like, you t they can't sidestep. Why do you say, let's see then? Because that's not going to be the case in this game. You are suggesting that Ari in a 1v1 gets to, like, freely kill the AD carry every fight. That's just not true. That's just not true. That I I, I don't know where you're getting that opinion from. Because that, that, that just doesn't happen. The way that happens is if you snowball the game so stupidly far ahead. Um, that doesn't matter. Okay, ult flash out for free. That's nice. That's been happening all split? No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. If you're going to count someone like Knight, Rookie, or Scout doing that, then that's just not true. Because they sit in Fog of War and they make sure that the charm's coming blind so you don't get to dodge it. That's different. Like, yeah. I don't know, man. I think I think you've just got the wrong idea about this. I think that you've got a hate boner for this champion. Um, saying Arya will chunk ADC to half HP without hitting skill shot and get punished, that's just, again, not true. <laughs> like, if you think you're getting free access onto the AD carry like that, I uh, like, especially on the LPL, it, re it doesn't happen with top teams that easily, you know? You actually have to find, um, you can't find yourself, like, those kind of angles for free. Yes, they still have to hit their skill shots, that's the thing. <laughs> But like, if the game comes, like, it, it's very rare, AD carries very rarely find themselves in 1v1s versus mid laners, you know? Like, if you end up melee range against a, like, AD carry with cleanse, they just immediately tap cleanse and burn you. So, you know. And even with someone like Zeri, if you dive into them, they cleanse and they ult, they actually have the move speed to chase you down a lot of the time, so. Don't see your hymns yeah, maybe not. Also, in, like, against this kind of comp, you know, Cream does have to choose his angles fairly well. No, particularly if Yigao has stun, you don't have that freedom to jump forwards. Kanavi with the, um, uh, with the Cyclone as well. It's very hard to dive into this enemy comp if they have tools available. So you want to force, what you want to do is top is what's is go to the objective first and then force these, um, defense, like, defensive players out. Okay, he gets a charm onto that so you can't get the full combo. Really nice to play from Cream. He gets a charm onto missing so he can't get the full CC combo before anything comes out. That's actually a really well play from. How's the game three looking? Um, well, JDG picked a, a pretty much the same draft which lost in the game last time, so. Mm. And basically, I don't see how Zeri gets to play the game. You have one source of damage, which is 
basically ruler. I mean, maybe Kanavi can pick up the damage, but every fight, I'm just imagining that 369 and Tien are going to get onto, Mr. onto ruler and it's just not going to, you know, end the game. Yeah, and you've got like a lot of like pick and long range follow up, right? Mm. Vi, Ari, Varus, Rumble. Exactly, yes. Exactly, exactly that. Yes, exactly that. Yeah. Unless Zeri has the mother of all wall runs, I just don't. Well, no, even then, like, Vi falls them over, right? Then everything falls them over. Everything's too long range. Yeah. So. That here, it feels like they've been trying to play their own style. The top esports have just been able to... Okay, what's Cream going for next? Is he going for... I guess he's just going for Horizon Focus to stop. Wait, is he, he should be going... Wait, is he going to go Verdant Barrier? Why has he got the Null Mag Magic Mantle in inventory? He hasn't even gone for towards Merc Treads. Not going Merc Treads in this kind of game is a little sus. Because you can get 100 to 0 if you don't play well. Well, play perfectly, even actually. Like, there's, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of damage which can like um, burst you out in quite a quick amount of time between like Annie Wukong. BLJ play, BLG plays against who wins from the series. Yes, so BLG plays plays the winner, NIP plays the loser in an elimination match. The winner of BLG versus the winner of the series goes to finals. Um, but yeah, the loser goes through uh, lower bracket. My man Cream going to MSI? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It'd be so cool to see Cream go international. This guy deserves it after his years of work, man. Okay. Stream has frozen. We good? I think we're good. Cool. Takes Akali and owns MSI? Yeah. It'd be really fun to see Cream. Um, Korean player Kali internationally. I think we're getting to the point now where 369 is going to be a terror. I actually don't see how you cut through that easily. Oh my god, look! Cream's dying to the AD carry. What do you. I mean, it's just so unfair that Ari can't be AD carries, you know? I think I th we've been seeing this all split that, you know, just the AD carry just kills Ari. I mean, what else can you do as an Ari? No, what do you do? Incredible, really. What, what can Ari do against an AD carry like that? All Ari had to do was just ult into the AD carry, and they would have won. Can you imagine that? If they just pressed R, Q, R, and then just like, that that, that would have just been it. Sarcasm? I don't do sarcasm, no. Okay, that's a fucking great flank from 369, Jesus. Lol, she didn't get stunned. She actually fucking did, Castle. <laughs> there we go, it's the Viari combo which kills him. See, it's the Viari, it's not even a 1v1. <laughs> it's always gonna be a 2v1, that's the point with this. Okay, but now we've got resets, nice. You guys are actually doing some decent damage, you know. Kanavi can actually carry this. No, no, Kanavi kills this. Kanavi kills this. Yagao got fucking great damage, man. W probably hit Rel. Oh, man, the W hit Rel. Oh, man. There we go. Good shit from Kanavi. There we go. Kanavi is a fucking damage carry now. The Shy on JDG would have carried with Jace top pick. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's the play. Okay, how did this stop? So this is just Viari on the flank. Like, Ruler is just going into fucking Narnia, man. Okay. Doesn't one-shot. Fails the ult flash, by the way, actually. But then you've you've used your flash really quite poorly there. Okay, wait, we're going into another fight? God damn, 369 is really tanky now. He has all items now, which is kind of big. Ow. Big stuff from Mako. Why do so many items look so bad when you zoom in? I don't know, man. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, where'd I put my phone? Somewhere. Oh, I'm sitting on Would Sun to Sky work on Jin? Um, I... He already gets guaranteed crit. Well, I mean, the crit means he gets... A extra move speed, but he doesn't get, like, the crit and the attack speed to give him the, kind of, like, the extra kind of stat scale, like, the, the cyclical stats, which kind of scale into each other. 
Okay, you got Verdant Barrier now from Cream, and he's just harder to pin him down. But it's a long cooldown for the first rank of that, actually. Why did he stop off for the fucking, um, finish Codex then? Just go towards, like... I mean, do you, do you really need the extra cooldown reduction that much? It works, there's also a reduced crit since Sunder does fight by crit modifiers? Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Dodges out with the ult. I mean, he's still, he's still E away, right, maybe? Nah. Flandre has really been dealt with this series. I- god damn, 0 and 5? Flandre had a fantastic series versus Weibo, like a triple, um, MVP series. But, like, he's getting decked this game. Oof. Yeah, well, I don't see why you're picking the... As, as soon as you see the Varus, like, the, the Varus on the other side, why are you picking the Zeri, man? I don't, I don't think the Zeri has value in this game. Is Ruler playing worse than last year? Absolutely. Ruler was the best player in the world for most of last year. Ruler was incredible last year, and he has not really found his, his, like, comfort in this year so much. He, um, received some opponent jungle attention. Yes, he did, but also it's Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai should not be that exploitable. I think Flandre made some big mistakes in regards to playing on weak side of the map sub points. Oh my god, look at that. Cream literally just one-shot Kanavi. What an unfair champion. He took off like a quarter of his HP. That's basically a one-shot. I always bounce after LPL, but do you actually watch LC LEC? Yeah, I, I, I don't watch it on stream, but yeah, I watch it. Yeah, I, I watch it mostly. I mean, like, this last week has been a bit hard, because um, this has been LPL playoffs being so, so rigorous, and I've been on show a lot. So I've had to, like, prep a lot for the next couple of days, but yes, I normally do. Um, the Jace Lee Sin picks after the virus in game one seems uh, kind of sus to me, but was it? Um, I mean, the Jace is more for the winning lane, and then... In the current meta, you're not always picking for late-game team fights. You need to pick for early lanes, which then allow your jungler to run over the map as well, so... He hit nothing in Chunk to work on, he hit his Q. Oh my god, he he hit a Q, a W, and an Electrocute, which is most of your burst, onto a target and took quarter of their HP? That's so OP, man! Taking a quarter of the jungler's HP with most of your combo hitting? That's so OP, man. That's that's just so OP. Hitting the Q, R, W, and the Electrocute. I don't. What do you What do you do, man? It's so unfair. So unfair, actually, just taking a quarter of a Wukong's HP, who didn't even build like, who didn't didn't even build like full magic resist, man. That's very funny, Sam. It's very fun. Okay, Kanavi's gone. Fuck in, man. Missing good combo. Tien is just one shot ruler, pretty much. Okay. Holy shit. Wait, oh my god. Flandre actually lives there as well. It's hilarious. Almost. Oh my god. Ari almost kills a Rek'Sai which takes three turret shots on her own. That's so. That's so OP. So OP how Ari can't kill the Rek'Sai who's actually just gone into the tower by themselves in a 1v2. Isn't it so OP how Ari didn't manage to get that kill there? I I, I agree with you, Karzal. It's so meta that Ari managed to completely one-shot and completely 100-0 a Rek'Sai with the help of, like, a million turret shots and actually not get the kill. I know, man. It's- I- 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 yeah. I mean, Kanavi, fucking great clutch and go to actually. But the, the spell shield's just nasty from- from Jackie Love. They managed to get onto him, though. Jesus, how do you actually move Azari here? Are you- are, are you really suggesting that Ari isn't OP? Like, is that your professional opinion? I mean, let's have a look at Ari's stats worldwide. Let's have a look at Ari's stats worldwide. Let's have a look at Ari's stats worldwide. She has a 50%- she has an under 50% win rate. She isn't even winning a huge amount of the time. So... 
No, she has a 49, just under 50%. So, it's not like she's winning every game, like you're suggesting. Why, so, if she's OP, why is she losing games? If she's OP, why is she losing games? Why Why is this just not you being salty about, about this champion? Why, why is this not that? I don't think she's OP. You need to play her well. You need to play in combinations. She can't deal with tanks. Yes, she isn't OP. I think you're wrong. That's what I'm saying, Garzel. I think that you're just salty. And, like, you've said this in multiple streams where you're frustrated that Ari doesn't have to sk hit skill shots and stuff like that. Like, Ari is much more about setups than mechanical execution. I think you're really misunderstanding what that champion does. Can we get a reward for channel points where you say where you're sassy Brett the whole stream? Maybe. <laughs> nice delusion. Castle. I mean, what can I say? You just have a hate boner for a champion. What can I say? Okay, cream's going in. Holy shit! Okay, wait, wait, so that's actually not a steal. That's not a steal. That's a skew. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Ari needs to snowball. If you snowball the champion, she looks good. If you don't snowball the champion, it's 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 not great. No, I'd be really interested, Kazel. Why why do you think Ari's OP? And if she is OP, why is she not winning more games? Why why is she not winning more games? Like like okay, why why is she not why is she not fifty five percent win rate? Why why is she not that? You know, there's 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 been like five hundred games of her, and she's not she's not winning the majority of the time. So so why is that the case? You know, she's she's got a slightly higher weight win rate in, in LPL, but still needs 50%. It is me who's surely biased in this matter and not the RA main, surely. Give me a fucking reason, Kazel! Stop sitting there and spouting like your your soul. Like actually give me a reason. You're not arguing logic, you're just being salty. Like, how do you expect me to say anything more about this? Like, she's bang on 50% win rate, picked a lot, blind picked and counter picked. I ha I hate several OP champs right now. GIVE US A FUCKING REASON! <laughs> Stop just being salty! SAY SOMETHING OF VALUE! SAY SOMETHING OF VALUE! <laughs> what- what are we supposed to go off here? The fact that you don't like the champion? That's not valid. That's not valid. You have to actually say something here. Like, oh, but she always gets on the AD carry. Yes, yeah, she's a backline access champion. I gave you many reasons you're using a lot of what I say too. No. No, you're not giving me many reasons, you're just being salty. You're saying that she can half health and AD carry, and that's just bluntly wrong. Like, in terms of for free. You're saying that, um... You're saying that, um... Ari can jump into an AD carry, um... In a 1v1 and half health without hitting skill shots. Now, if you're jumping into an AD carry 1v1, you have chosen the right angle for one. That's the right thing. But if you're not hitting that charm and you don't get the kill, yes, you don't deserve to get that kill. And most of the time, Ari doesn't do that. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I really just think that you're being, like, really off your rocker on this one, man. I, I think that you're, you're really just misjudging what makes an Ari player good, and also what makes a champion good slash OP or whatever. So, yeah. Okay, I was getting... Ooh, good flash forward on Tien. Okay. Yeah, presence isn't power. The fact that Ari can be blind picked pretty well doesn't mean she's OP. Like, she loses against stuff like Nico, Karma, and Annie a lot of the time, and we've seen that be answered into her. But, like, Cream is now at level 16 with an all night. You know, he's built effectively. I think the Banshees has a lot of value here. But yeah, we've seen- we've seen plenty of Aries be fucking useless. Like, if you're only judging it by the best Aries in the world and saying, Oh, but they, they- they don't have to hit everything or whatever because they missed, like, one skill shot in a combo or whatever. Like, I- I- I don't see how that differs from any other mage kind of gameplay and stuff like that. Um, Ari is much more about how you snowball. Once you are snowballed, it is much easier to get kills, but that's the same with everyone. That's the same with everyone. If Ari is even or behind in a game, then it's just not the same. You're literally saying Ari isn't OP. I think Ari's actually pretty balanced right now. She loses to mages, she loses to outrange, we've seen that. Like, Oriana beats her pretty heavily, we've seen a number of champions which counter her. But she does have good combos and has a place within the game. Are you trying to say that Ari performing well at her strengths is a problem because she's OP? If she's performing to her strengths, why is that different to any other champion? Vi is so OP because she can always get onto the AD carry, isn't that OP? Well, wh why does this logic dictate from anything else? Yeah, Ivan Frost was the fucking worst primer. Okay, now Ruler is half HP, and gets completely one-shot by the whole combination. Top Esports are fucking dominating this series, man. 
But like, you're, you're literally just saying, oh, she's OP with no reasoning for it. And the few things which you have said are basically just, just, just wrong. Yeah, Vi is actually really strong. Particularly Vi is very strong into Zeri. Now, the thing about Vi is that she can be dealt with early. I think that Shin Sao really deals with the champion very well. You can build um, anti-dive comps. There is a reason where Vi is not early picked anymore. If Vi is early picked, she gets she gets crushed. You cannot play Ari, you cannot play Vi like the blind pick in jungle, which I think we found over time. Um, and another thing which was, I think Doombi said on his stream actually, which is effectively like, um, you can only play Vi when all of your lanes are doing well, because like, you cannot be invaded. If you ever get invaded at uh, early levels, this champion sucks, so. Yeah, where's the Varus hate? Yeah, that's a good point actually, where's the Varus hate? <laughs> what are the highest present champions right now? Yeah, we've got um, Varus with an 82% win rate with 54% uh, win rate with 82% presence. Kasansei, 55% win rate. Nordless, 55% win rate. Um, Lucian on a 58% win rate. Karma on a 59% win rate. Let's have a look at just mid laners to cut it down there. Where does Ari come in in terms of presence? She's like 7th or so. And she has, you know, a lower win rate than Tristana, Nico, Talia, and, and Karma. Um, LeBlanc, lower, lower win rate. Has a lower win rate than things like Twisted Fate as well. Like, yeah, I mean... It, Ari's not even like a standout champion in terms of stats, you know? Which champ has the highest win rate? I can have a look at that. I mean, in terms of- it depends if you want it in terms of like all champions or in, um... Win rates. I mean, Cannon's 4-0 no, worldwide right now. Let's try- let's try in just top regions. Oh, that's- hang on, wait, this is- no, hang on, hang on, that was in just LPL. Well. Okay, so... Worldwide. Let's have a look at the mid. So that was just LPL stats. So there's Ari worldwide. Ari is 50% bang on, and just like they like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen highest presence. And then you've got Azir, which is higher win rate. Talia, Nico, Tristana, and Twisted Fate. Uh, Ari and Talia are OP in an unhealthy way, mainly because they were designed as burst mages that relied on skill shots. Uh, that meant they were useless in pro and they were feast of famine, so they got reworked to make them noob friendly. Why were they Why were they noob friendly? Which resulted in their unskilled OP state, which translates to pro play presence. Um, the reason why they're strong is actually because they can get out of lane well. That's not even That's not even completely true in terms of the burst combo. The fact that they have gloat, they have the ability to push and roam is the reason which makes them strong at all. And then the problem is, if you put them up against champions which lock them in lane, they lose that identity and you can deal with them. Therefore, they are answerable. It's not like they're completely OP. Um, and Ari, I don't. So you even Ari actually lost a lot of damage with her rework in terms of her for he her e not giving damage amp anymore. You actually do less damage to the first target. Um, she also does no damage to tanks. She's great on ta on squishies. Really bad against tanks. Okay, full Baron. Don't you just jump forward now? Can, well, you don't have to, I guess. Oof. Their reworked abilities are unskilled. I mean, Talia has last damage in her shove, and she has to get consistent damage down. And also, Talia is very, very bad if you actually manage to reach her. She's very good if she can hold you in mid-range towards the end of her combo. Lost damage, only gained 8 ults every 20 seconds. Oh shit, that's a hell of a combo. What's happening? I thought Tian was a fraud like the Shy. Tian's actually good. Tian's actually had a really good split. As a recur on OTP, I agree that Talia is OP tech deck. You are so based for that. Yeah. But if you're talking about things being unskilled and bursty, why aren't you talking about Karma? Why aren't you talking about Karma with Lillian? So that's a much more problematic champion. You you have like your you have like a nuke on a you know an eight second cooldown. Why why don't why why is that not an issue? You know. I don't get why you're coming into my stream talking about this champion and being wrong about it a lot of the time. And then just like not complaining about the champions, which are actually problems for the meta. As soon as like we saw that as soon as Azir was back, like LEC has basically not picked Ari. Um, LCS has basically been shit at Ari all the same as well. Like LCK has played one or two games of it. We don't, you know, we don't see it that much on 14.6 now. We have like a couple of key players of it. We have obviously the top players in the LPL are all very good at this champion. They're very comfortable in that champion. Obviously they're gonna, they're gonna make it look strong, but that's not always gonna be the same across like world matters in all regions. Now maybe if you weren't watching LPL, maybe you wouldn't think that, you know. Jack has been the best ADC in the league display. Yeah, for sure. I'd, I'd agree with that too. I think that he's also the best Varus in the world right now. I think his Varus is absolutely fucking great. 
Yes, and the thing is, actually, a lot of these champions like um, Talia and Vi, in pro, it's because they're pi paired with, like, Shin Sao and Vi, you have, like, a knock-up, um, point-and-click CC combo, effectively. Which allow you to get that shit for free. That's why it's, you know, why, when you see Arya or Vi locked in, you'd ban the other one away. Because you can, you take it away from the combo. Um, same with Talia a lot of the times too, right? But that's just the same with any mid-jungle combo. You could say the same about, you know, Annie, Annie Lee Sin's a good mid-jungle combo. At that point, you're talking about combos, not about, actually, you're saying it's noob-friendly. It's noob-friendly if you have a well-coordinated mid-jungle with the combo to play through it. Um, which I don't think is the full picture, because you have to give up um, draft resources for that. It's very obvious, and there are ways to break that combination as well. You know, if you do have a good peel support, or if you have yourself a good enchanter, you can break that combination. Um, in some cases, stuff like Zaya can get picked into it as well. Um, it's a whole combination of things. Now, if you're seeing it in one or two games where, you know, some, like an AD carry has very low counterplay towards it, then yes, of course it's going to look great. Great flash jump. No good stuff from Cream. Nice. But, like, again, the reason why this looks good is because everyone is following up hugely. Um, oh, okay. Stream going a bit weird there. Really well played from Top Resource. Really, really well played. I have no idea why they would pick this area in this spot. This area just can't impact the game. You have no damage outside of this area. What a crap draft from JDG. 3-0 top esports. Jesus Christ, man. No JDG BLG in the upper bracket. Jesus, man. I will die on the hill that Vi Wukong shouldn't be consistently pro viable. Um, they haven't been, Sam. Most of the split, they haven't been. Um, Wukong is very low priority. Let's let's have a look at let's have a look worldwide right now. Let's have a look on the current game. So let's go 14.6. So Vi's banned a lot. She's actually not picked that much. She's banned a lot, but that's picked typically when you've already locked in certain mid laners. Um, but like Wukong is like four percent presence. Three years? Oh yeah, sure. Over that kind of time span? Yeah, I understand. I think also, um, particularly in the case of Vi, I think a lot of teams have not shown that they can punish Vi at level 1 and level 2. Um, which you can absolutely do. You know, if you pick in like a Varus Nautilus lane into a Vi, despite the fact that the Vi will destroy the Varus later into the game, um, you can just walk into the enemy jungle at level 1 and just make sure the Vi doesn't get to play the game. You know, if you play like the, the Shin Sao, um, Lucian Nami or Shin Zhao, um, Varus Nautilus, you just fly into the enemy jungle at level 1 and what do they do? Yeah, legit, what do they do? Um, so you can get kills there, you can force them out, you can force flashes. You want to, even stuff like Sejuani, you can go jump in and just like walk into the enemy jungle and kill, kill Vi at level 1 level 2. So Leah rework made it work. Um, Vi's been meta ever since re our rework lot? Yeah, because it's, it's just people who can benefit from the huge point and click CC combo from jungle. Which makes a lot of sense. There are a lot of champions which can work with that. And Talia's one of them, Ari's one of them. I mean, we saw it with Syndra for a bit as well. Like, um, Vi Syndra and stuff like that. Anyone who can benefit from long-range follow-up. Before our cha before our is this other champions that uh, Vi worked with. This is just trade picking. I know. I think basically for me, I, I all I see is is someone who's frustrated with a particular champion that they don't like, and that's fine. That if you don't like the champion, but you have to have the analytical like understanding to like back that up, which I I I don't think you've you've argued well so far. Now I'm not saying that Ari isn't strong in specific spots, but I mean, I've seen plenty plenty of games this year where Ari's done absolutely jack shit. And you know, I you know I watch more games of the good Ari players because I want to learn from them and see what they're doing. But but yeah. Um, I'd actually argue it was Viego, not Vi, that brought Ari back. Yes, particularly with um, the Everfrost as well. We're actually at that point when Everfrost was still the two second roots, and it gave you know better stats and stuff, and it was cheaper and whatever. You had like Ari being the setup champion, which was. Really not a fun playstyle, actually. You just go forwards and just, like, you just use it. You're an Everfrost bot. That was really kind of shit. You're the one who likes the champ. I'm just saying it's unskilled and OP without bias. But you're not saying it to back it up! I'm sure you think this is based. It's just cringe. It's just cringe. Like, actually, you gotta back this shit up. You gotta back this up. Like, yeah. 
I say similar things about many other champs, but you can totally come into my chat and say it's like every stream, and it's not gotten any analytically more sound. Yes, the whole chat is here being like, yo, by the way, this isn't true. So I don't know. I mean, if you're not going to listen to me, maybe listen to some other people which are talking to you as well in chat. I, since I saw Riviego turn into a sign with Warmogs and the item trigger and regenerated him. Yeah, um, so there was actually, a, there's a big problem with Viego in terms of you lose your items when you transform into someone else. So if you transform into a really squishy champion, you can die for free. And then also, you can lose stuff like your GA. So if you have GA, you don't get your GA if you're in another champion's form. So you need to be very careful picking up some champion's forms. Um, the regen's there, but sometimes you need to like instantly just like ult, um, like you, you pick the soul up for the untarget ability and the healing and you immediately get out because you can't stick around and fight. It's a little bit different if you've already stomp, steamrolled the fight and then you get yourself like a, a jinx or something like that to just like keep wailing away with like long range rockets. But um, yeah. Okay, righty. So we have NIP versus JDG and JDG did not look good today. Um, and then we also have top esports BLG, which is fucking good. Don't you get a Nivea passive and Cyan passive on Viego? Um... I seem to remember you got Karthus passive. Yeah, I think you do. Yeah, I think you do. CS never sucks. They did it. They did it some points, but it's not been that great. Top esports is like... They had like a couple of shitty series towards the end of the split, but that was kind of a... BLG Top Esports, that's a fucking great series, actually. And that was also a mirror of our very first series of the split, which is really cool. Viego gets rewarded for so much for doing very little. I mean, um, you need to have a team... He is very much a win-harder champion, where if you manage to get yourself a kill, then obviously he just steamrolls the fight. But if he doesn't get a kill, and he dives too... He, he can often dive too deep for it, he obviously gets punished. I think Viego is very item dependent. You know, Divine Sundra made him very meta for a while because it just gave him that blend of tankiness and initial burst, which made him just really, really annoying. Um, yeah, I think that Viego has... Well, that's the reason why his regen and his stats have been nerfed over and over, because he is just too consistent when you get one kill, which is uh, a pain and a half. God damn, though. JDG, they are really falling apart, huh? Okay, well, we'll hang around and watch some of the stats, see the MVP, and then we'll send you off to another stream. Considering the LPL always gets criticism for their imports, I think it would be really good for the league, uh, for TES and BLG to be the representatives at MSI with all the players being Chinese. Hopefully this will flip the narrative in the future. Yeah, I think there's something to that, for sure. I think there is something to that. Who would I give MVP to? I think, I think Tien was really good. I think 369 was really good. People usually forget that his consistency might have been his weakness the past few years, but mechanically and gameplay-wise, Jack Jackie Love is unmatched even compared to Ruler of Viper or Guma. Um, well, I don't think that like I don't think that peak Jackie Love completely outstrips those other names. But yeah, I think that actually last year he was very consistent. Is the thing I think a lot of people re have taken this narrative like, oh, haha, it's a Jackie Love moment because of particularly 21, 22. Well, his whole career before 23, really. The 23, he actually was very consistent. He really shaped up in that regard, and he's continued to be one of the very best AD carries in the region. Um, yeah, you know, I think I think that his Varus in particular is just godly. His his Varus is absolutely insane. I, I think he's the best Varus in the world. Uh, Luke Seek, thanks for the follow. Luke Seek. Last year, Jackie and this year's might be his best level of play so far. I, I actually agree. Yeah, I actually agree. I think that he's been doing really, really well. <laughs> the Mojo's online. Someone call Munch. Uh, where, you know, all the other 
playoffs, we've had like game five, <clears throat> the first two, first, I guess the first series was 3-1, then we had three straight five-game series, but now... To quote some people who are very frustrated in Final Fantasy XIV, just remember that your DPS, that, uh, when your DPS, when they're dead, is zero. Damn. Can the Shy save JDG in summer? I don't think this is a Flandre issue. Flandre had a triple MVP versus Weibo. It's not, it, the Shy should not be picked up by JDG. I think Flandre is completely fine. The Shy, the Shy would arguably just make this team worse. Um, what they need is a coaching direction. Like, they've, 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 they've fired their coaching staff. They, well, rather, they fired their head coach. They fired Marfa, the three-peat LCK champion, you know? Stop hating the shy. I'm sorry! He entered the whole region! He entered the whole region last, last year! You're fucking welcome to Prime. <laughs> I will stand on this! Prediction for BLG Top Esports? Um... Ooh, I actually think it could be close, you know? I think that on being off form really hits them hard versus top was because like Jack 11 Mako are fucking great. No, 369 is going to be great. I think Bin will va oh, out value 369 right now. Yeah, Etienne had a fucking great game. He deserves it. Yeah, so I think that like if, if we get off instead of on, I think it's clo very close. But then I do think that like on the whole, Rookie is uh, not Rookie, Cree. Um, Cream is just going to get absolutely crapped on by Knight. Knight is just so fucking good. Um, I think it's... God, you know what? I think it's 3-1 BLG, possibility of a 3-2. I think, I, think I, think, I think TS take, like, at least one game. Cream actually messed up that combo. If you if you ult... And, well, I guess he... Wait, he should see the... Dis dif um, he should see where he's flying over that wall. He should be able to ult flash there, actually. Get the ult and targets. So you don't have to waste an, another ult charge. Yeah, he misplayed that. Just heading on the shy because he probably took Ari top and fed away. He's never taken Ari top, and if he did, I would, I would, I would commit ritual suit. No, no, quite. Rookie Yasuo game still red frame. My head was fucking great. Yeah, that was a really good one. Moonbase Alpha. Yeah, that was a really good comp actually. It was a really good comp. I, I really liked seeing that. So I hope NIP have more random shit like that coming through. <laughs> That's so cool, man. I love these slow-mo zoom-ins. Okay, Vex, I'm gonna send you off to a second. Thanks for stopping by, folks, and I'll see you next time. Actually, I might stream tomorrow or the day after. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. I don't have any games to be on for, but I might review some LCK stuff. See you in a bit. Post game, it's like, all right, 